What's going on, everybody? Welcome to uh, another God Logic stream, man. This is one of our later ones. I literally just got back home. Um, I want to say probably, probably logged literally an hour ago is when I pulled up. So um, we back and we're live. So um, trying to stick to the schedule here, trying to stick to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams so today's wednesday um even though we're not doing it at the normal time still wanted to get a stream in of course and uh you know build this thing up get used to this schedule like this so it's good to see you guys good to see everybody um good to see you guys on youtube tiktok doesn't really miss me that much <laughs> they see me more often but uh good to see the tick uh the youtube family here man uh, let me see who's all in here. Yeah, I might get crazy college today because of the title. The title is that Christianity is true. Uh, basically changed my mind. So hopefully we don't get, you know, too many weirdos. You know, I hope that we get some decent, some decent conversations here. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a mic for TikTok. All right. So if you are a non-Christian, you are welcome to come up and join the conversation. Uh, whether you be Muslim, whether you be Hebrew Israelite, uh, whether you be a Unitarian, Jehovah's Witness, Mormon, whatever it is, you are welcome to join the live stream and get in on this action. All right. So let me see. We already got a couple of guests in here. Man, can I just... Can I breathe first? Can I say my highs? My goodness. Salam, I'm going to see to everybody. Oh, we already got a super chat. Before we even started to, hey, Amin says, time to leave Islam. That's right. Time to get on out of there, man. Time to get out of Islam. It's about that time. Okay. So let's see who we got here. Again, non non-christian so if you are christians do not hit that request bar all right i believe that that is a simple simple request that i am asking do not hit that request bar if you are a Muslim, uh, um a christian all right let's see who we got Jesus is God apologetics. Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. All right. How you doing, my man? Just a troll. I can't hear anything. Kind of tell by the by the picture too, by the way. Oh, I, I can't hear anything. Hold on. I always got these little glitches with TikTok, man. I got to get past all these little glitches. I hear TikTok's in trouble. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there we go. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you, sir? Pretty good. Thank you. Pretty good. You, uh, yeah. what's, what's your position, my friend? I'm a Muslim. You're a Muslim. Okay. Okay. Why are you a Muslim? Because because I but I I am submitting to Allah. Submit to Allah. Why do you submit to Allah? Why do you submit to Allah? Because He is the one and only true God. But why do you believe that? Because He is Allah. 
He's only one. But again, why do you believe that? Because um, Islam, like the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, it states that, hold on, uh, hold on, let me get my book up. Let's see if we can get someone serious. You know, we can tell when someone's a troll, man. Dude's accent, entire, his entire accent changed. Come on, man. 100, you already right. What time is it for me? It is 7.21 p.m. 7.21 p.m. <clears throat> Proud Palestinian. What's up, Logic? What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? How are you? I'm pretty good, man. Pretty good. How are you? Yeah. I won't be getting paid enough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God takes care of me, man. For real, man. Seriously. You do a lot of work, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. listen man <laughs> i love my black brothers you know in the united states i i used to live in america years ago you did are you, are you in the united states yeah yeah i'm in the u.s yeah man that was my spot bro yeah for sure, yeah. For sure. where are you where are you now i lived there for about like 12 years i went to college mm. and yeah, where, nice. what, what country nice do you stuff. live in now huh what country do you live in now al-quds jerusalem Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. You like it? Well, not, that, not that very nice, I'll tell you that. Oh, that's, that's okay. Oh, yeah, man. Well, you're not alive, man. Nice. You're alive, you're kicking, you're smiling. That's good, right? Well, I mean, you don't see that smile at all. Oh. We're living in poverty, bro. Okay. We're living in, in, in occupation. You know, it's really tough, I'm telling you. Mm. Where do you live in the U.S.? What state? I'm from California. California. Yeah. That's a nice. Uh, yeah, I went to California one time. It was beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I love California. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're a Muslim, listen, right? Bro, I mean, listen, we're all we're all You know what the word Islam means for real? Do you really know? I've heard it means surrender. Islam is peace, man. That's what it is. But that's not what the word means. Yeah, it's Islam, salam, meaning peace. What makes you believe that Islam is peace? Well, I'm living in peace, I'll tell you that. With the uh, ideology of Islam, I live in peace. I'm very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't really have to question. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it to you this way. If If you're sitting in a meeting, right, and someone comes in and tells you, Oh, I lost after the meeting is over, of course. And he says, I lost my wallet. And then you asked around, there was about 20 people in the meeting. Hey guys, did anybody find a wallet? Yeah, there's a wallet right here, right? And if nobody claims that wallet, that means this guy's telling the truth, right? Unless somebody else and says, no, this guy is a liar. This is my wallet. And I got $20 in it. And I got two credit cards from Bank of America. And I got this, 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 and that. You know what I mean? Someone to prove otherwise, which is very logic, right? I mean, it's a logic thing. So how, does, how, does that, how, how does that and, tie in? And, and Judaism, they're religion from God. You know, I don't, I don't disagree that they're religion from God, but I disagree with that the Jews are the chosen uh, people for God. And I really don't think that's fair, honestly. The Quran says I, that. He says that at one point when there was only Jews. No, there were multiple people on the planet. <laughs> no, it was multiple people, but they were not believers. The only ones that they were believers were the Jews. Well, uh, he made he said that the Jews are the people that he favored over above mankind. So all mankind. I'm you, at that time, of course, yeah. He doesn't he doesn't limit it to that time. Where where does he like change his mind? Well, I mean, you know, the time that the the, the uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that to the Muslims that this is what happened back in the day when the first people to believe in were the Jews, were the children of Israel. Yeah, but where, is, where, 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 does, where does, where does, where does Allah, the first people who believed in, where, where does Allah change his mind that like, oh, they were 
his favored people, and now they're not his favorored people. Where, where does he change his mind in the well, Quran? The look, I mean, look, you can see, man. I'll tell you what. When when something is dark, brother, you can tell it's dark. No matter how you try to paint it, it's dark, man. You know what I mean? That's why I the reject way, Islam. I'm going to give you a small example. With all respect. I don't no, 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 no. That's what I'm what I'm asking you know I mean? for is so where where in the Quran when, does when, like when, when does it I, change? I was driving, I hey, was driving one time. Hey, hey proud, proud Palestinian, please. What I'm what I'm yeah. asking is is where in the Quran does it indicate? Does it say? That Allah has changed his mind on the Israelites being his favored people among mankind. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he advised us that this is what the story. And like I said, yeah, where, he's where? the only one who claimed to have that wallet, which is Prophet Muhammad. Nobody came afterwards to prove otherwise. Well, I, I need I, I need to see, but that, that doesn't change the fact that the Jews are his favored people among mankind just because Muhammad comes around. I don't do you know I, I don't I don't see a change in the Quran in that. Do you know what the word aqidah means? What does that mean? Aqidah brother means it's like I can't say I can't sit here on live saying I I think I'm talking to logic. Because I I'm it's not that I think I am. I, this is something I am sure about. The aqidah meaning I think meaning I believe in something that it's unknown. And that's what Muslims believe in, the unknown. It is unknown to them. They believe in it deeply, and that's called aqidah. And there is no way, it, it, it's like a tie, and you cannot untie it. So how, no how, how does that tie in with uh, what I'm asking you? Say it again. How does that tie in with what I'm asking you? Oh, because like I said, Prophet Muhammad came and told us that. Well, told told you what? I didn't see. I didn't see that uh, the Jews were God's favorite. But uh, where where where, where, do, where, do, where does Muhammad say that they're like that they're not his favorite anymore? Well, there's a lot of Muhammad doesn't say himself. He speaks the words of Allah, and Allah in the Quran did mention that. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for where? Where does Allah in the Quran mention oh, that the Jews are the no Quran. longer his favorite there's people? One surah in the Quran, it says. Uh, let me think of it. Hold on one second, brother. I think I know it. Okay. Um, Meaning, do not have them as their as your superiors, the Jews and the Nasara. What verse is this? Uh. I don't know, are, but are you, that's the verse. But, you so know, you're talking you know. about, well, the verse actually says, do not, you're talking about do not take the Jews and Christians as friends. Not as friends, as yeah. awliya. Awliya yeah, means awliya. as your superiors. No, it doesn't mean superiors. <laughs> yeah, awliya is superiors. I have a lot of friends, man, that they're Jews, and I have a lot of friends that they're Christians. And you're going against the Quran. That is not true, because the Quran don't say that. So where in the, where in that verse does it say that the Jews are not the favored? Where did, where in that verse does it say that the Jews are not Allah's favored people anymore? Well, he's telling me not to be my superiors. That means you know. No, that's not what he's saying. That's anymore. not what he's saying at all. It doesn't literally say it, but it says, "Do not have them as your superiors." No, that's it doesn't. It. Aliyah does not mean superiors. It means friends, allies. That's what no, it means. Oh no, brother! Aliyah is superiors. It's not friends. Okay. I well, I don't. I don't right, want to spend. I don't want to spend. Uh, like, because you know, Muslims can do this all day. Um, what? What is? Uh, I, I need a reason why you said that. Like, Islam is peace. Every way you look at it is peace. Every way? Any way you look at it is peace. Okay. Do you do you believe it's that peace. it's do you believe that it's, it's peace? peaceful to, to the African American uh, color? I'll tell you that. Why did Muhammad had people of the African American color as slaves then? I'll tell you what, in one incident, there was two or three or four slaves that they were taken, but they were not really black slaves. They were slaves because slaves were not just blacks. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about the black slaves that Muhammad bought and sold off. Why? Why did he? Why was he like buying said, and selling had, off black slaves? He had he had few slaves. Some of them are white. Some of them are black. Now he that exchanged doesn't, that doesn't deal one with what black I'm asking slave for. with two slaves that they were captured 
in a war. No, 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 so no, 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 no. no. That's, that, out of them. No, that never happened. He sold two black slaves for one non-black slave. He exchanged them for one. Yeah, so he sold him, or he bought the one slave, the one, the no, one non-black slave for. Oh, hold on, please, 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 if I can, if I can finish. The hadith literally says that he bought him, bought the non-black slave for two, for two black slaves. Bring that up. I can assure you that is not true. Sure. He exchanged. He freed one slave. Okay. He freed him from his. No, he didn't. Uh, 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 owner at the time. No, he didn't. Why would he? Why would he? Listen, he's not a bad businessman. He's not stupid either. I would not exchange one for two or two for one. Well, that's the cost. You know the I mean? cost. The cost. The cost was uh, that a non-black slave was worth higher and worth more than a black slave. That's the point. That's the racism they're, there. They're both black. What are you talking about? No, they were not black. Yes, uh, they were. They're... One aswad. Aswad meaning black. Okay, well, let's pull up the hadith and see. Pull up the hadith, brother. All right. Sunan Anasai 4184. It says, a slave came and pledged to the prophet to immigrate. And the prophet did not realize... And the prophet did not realize that he was a, that he was a slave. Excuse me. Then his master, let me share my screen on YouTube so you guys can see it as well. I mean, you guys already know this stuff, but you know, for those who are just seeing this for the first time, there you go. <clears throat> then his master came looking for him. The prophet said, "Sell him to me." And he, the prophet, bought him. Literally, where I'm reading off the page, bought him for two black slaves. Then he did not accept the pledge from anyone until he asked, is he a slave? So Muhammad was buying and selling black slaves, man. Brother, that's mistranslated. I can assure you that. Mistranslated? That's not how it is in Arabi. Yeah, that's not how it that's is That's exactly Arabi. how it is, Ask bro. any Arabic person to translate what you just said know that hadith and he will tell you exactly what i'm telling you for I sure yeah let me um let me let me see any speak, any I, arabic I speakers speak in here too, you know, yeah, just I one can... second we'll, we'll, let's do that we got we actually have that any arabic speakers here paul bishop or uh arabic any of my any arabic any of my arab arabic speaking brothers to, and sisters please come on up they're going to they're going to switch the words arab christians they're gonna switch. You the said words. any you know, Arab person, any person that speaks Arabic. Arab that's what Muslim, you said. Yes, he will read it to you the way I read it. No, I think that every Arab, probably an Arab Muslim, might try to do what you're doing, which is changing the words of the text. I think we need a non-biased person here. It Thank you for the super chat, T Dub. It cannot be changed. The filthy. Plus, why would Prophet Muhammad free most of the slaves? Why? Why would he buy one? I mean, just common sense, right? Who did he Let's free? At least fair. Who Let's did he free? Fair. Why would he free? Who did he free? Slaves? Oh, he encouraged all his Sahaba, all his friends, <laughs> to free slaves. Abu Bakr, the first. No, no. Where, who did slaves. who? You said that Muhammad freed slaves. Who did he free? Oh, uh, I'll tell you who he did. Uh, what's his name? Um, Allahumma Muhammad. Can't think of the names right now, but he freed a lot of them. He didn't free any slaves. Bilal, Which, Bilal al Habashi. Yes, he did. He didn't free Bilal. Bilal. He did Bilal not free Bilal. Bilal. And no, you know what's uh, what's his name? I meant uh, Ammar ibn Yasser. Yes. So why is why is Muhammad buying and owning and selling He's black slaves? Buying, brother, why would you say buying? He's not because buying. it says that he then he sell him to me, and he bought him. For two black slaves. So he sold off two black slaves to buy a non-black slave. Why is he selling black that, people? That is that is not true, brother. The truth is not. That is not true. It's a Sahih I mean, Hadith. Listen, at least for people to respect your show and your life, you know, at least it's got to be fair. You know what I mean? And it's it's Sahih. You know, it has to be fact check. It's not just speaking words. That someone taught you. That is not true, brother. I'm telling I'm you. I'm just you. reading off the hadith, man. So, so are they lying? Is is Sunan on the side? They're lying. Do you know what the hadith is? Do you know what hadith means? Yeah, we don't we don't gotta do that. Are they lying? You know is is Sunan on the side lying? Hadith, brother, is is talk. 
Okay. People change talk from time to time. Yeah, are they lying? Is my question. Some of them, yeah, some of them were caught lying. Yes. So, all right. So, so Sunan Anasai is lying. So, so the guys, for you guys who are asking, this is Sunan Anasai. Four one eight four. Hold on, hold on, please. I'm I'm talking. Proud, 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 proud Palestinian. I'm talking, yeah. please. So, for the audience that's asking for the hadith number, this is Sunan Anasai. Four one eight four. Its grade is Sahi. You have you have multiple of the same narration in Sunan Anasai. You have Sunan Anasai four one eight four. That's the one I just read. You have the other one that's four six two one. Sunan Anasai four six two one. Great Sahih says the same exact thing. You know Sunan Ibn Majah two eight six nine. Great Sahih says the same thing. He bought him in exchange for two black slaves no it's not bought brother that's Please what it says that, that's, it that's is. what it that's says what it is. okay can you read it oh, oh here, here it is in jamia termity jamia termity one two three nine if you don't like the word bought here's here's jamia termity it yeah, says tell me what's the word bought yeah it says so he purchased him for two he black slaves no i want you to pronounce it in arabic if you don't mind i don't need to so can you? I don't need to. I just read it. If you want to throw no. your scholars in hadith under the if bus, says, that's on you, man. It says in the hadith, Prophet Muhammad, ishtara. Ishtara meaning bought. He bought them. He purchased them. Purchased him the for ishtara. two black slaves, my friend. There's no way around it. Man, so how, how, just, how is, how is this friendly? You don't want to believe it. It's up to you, but. I can only believe what I read, bro. I can only believe what I read. Exactly. I can only believe what I read, man. Well, you're reading something that it's false, brother. I mean, these people... Right, so the Islamic sources are false. No, absolutely. I'm telling you, the false is who translated it. Mm. Yeah, so the Muslim the Muslim translators who's translating the Hadith are false. Got it. If, if, if they claim to be Muslims, yes, they are false. Man, yes. we can't, we can't, uh, we can't trust anything. Huh? We can't trust anything I'm the Muslims do. Brother, I am Muslim and I'm telling you that's not true. You're telling me it's and not true because you have a bias towards Muslim Muhammad. Tell you it's not true. You're saying that it's not true you because you have a bias towards Muhammad, proud Palestinian. Christian who translated it, right? Proud Palestinian, you have a bias towards the source. That's why you're disagreeing with it. You don't have I'm any not, real reason that you're true. disagreeing with it. I can uh, listen. Bring it up on your camera. It says in Arabic. Let me see. Bring it. Okay. I challenge you to bring it in Arabic. All right. I shall do as you request, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. I shall do as you request. Thank you guys for the super chats. Even for those who are uh, coming up, paying the jizzy of non-Christians even giving super chats. I appreciate you. All right. Here it is. Oh, let me try to, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, can I shrink this? I'll read it, I'll read it, trust me. You can read this? And I'm not embarrassed to read it, yeah. All right, go ahead. I'm in, not embarrassed. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I can't see it very far, but let me see. Akhbarana Qutaybiya, meaning Qutaybiya told us. Qal haddathana al he said that Alayth have said an Abi Az Zubair based on Abu Zubair speech, meaning there's three people so far. An Jabir, that's the fourth one. Okay. Qal Ja'a Abdun. Move to the right, yeah. Ja'a Abdun Fabaya an Nabi. Meaning a slave came. And wanted it to submit to Prophet Muhammad والسلام, الهجرة, to travel with him to immigrate to Medina. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happens? I don't see the rest of it. On to the left. Oh. 
على الهجرة ولا يشعر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه عبد Even Prophet Muhammad, he did not believe at that point that he was a slave. He thought he was freed. إنه عبد فجاء Yeah, to the left, please. فجاء سيده Then his, his owner came that he wanted it to him. Like he wanted him, he, he probably holler at him or something. فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم Then Prophet Muhammad said Go ahead. Uh, بايعني بايعته Sell him to بايعني. me, right? Meaning he submit to me. Oh, it said sell him right. to me, right? No, he said بايعني. بايعني meaning he submit to me. No, oh, no, Lord, no. Don't, please, 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 please don't. His owner that this slave Please don't, please don't lie in your text. The text says, sell him to me, correct? Muhammad can, told can him to please, sell him to him. Can you get it closer? Can you get it closer? Uh, let me see. Oops. Let's see. Uh... I don't know. This 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 won't really work like this. Let me um let me try it this way. Hold on. Yeah, let's let's try to be honest with the text, man. All right. All right. You good here? Is this good? Proud Palestinian? Some, uh, I see it, yes. Does it say sell him to me? It says, he bought him. Now the, the Rawi, you know, the person who's telling the Hadith, it says that Prophet Muhammad bought him. Exactly. But that's the, what I said. Yeah. But that's the person who's telling the Hadith. Yeah. That doesn't mean that's exactly what happened. That I'm means, not trying to, to, means, to really tell you that he bought him. That means that's you know? exactly what happened, my friend. No. Prophet, well, well, okay. I'll tell, I'll tell you something. What would Prophet Muhammad benefit of buying a slave? Seriously. Oh, well, he buys. He he he, 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 he 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 has the he has the willpower to do it, man. He could do whatever he wants. He's the prophet. No, but why would he do it? Why would he do it? He has whatever. It doesn't matter. Why would he do it? Who cares? No, what, what? listen. If I do something, I gotta have to benefit. Who out of it, cares, right? man? The fact is that your prophet, prophet is buying slaves. By millions, he didn't need a slave to serve him. Well, he had him. If he bought him to free him, he had him. He didn't buy him to free him. If, if he one, if he's if 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 he bought look my my friend my friend if he if he bought him to free him why didn't he just free the two black slaves as well then because they were captured like I said in in the war no wait wait where do you get that from what do you mean where did I get from that's where they were these two no that's not where they were like any other ones yeah no that's not true at all man. And they didn't want to submit to Allah. So for Prophet Muhammad to anyone who would you're submit making this up as you go. Anything he has. You're making this up as you go. Brother, I'm telling you, this is what it is. So remember now, you remember you told me to be around, remember you told me to be honest, that's right? That's the fact. That remember, you told me to be honest, right? You told me to be I'll, honest I'll, to I'll the text. You Let me ask you, you something. Told, wait, me wait, ask wait a second. You told me to be honest to the text and honest to the source that I'm using for the audience, right? Yes. So yes. what was I was I telling the truth? No, you were telling the truth, of course. I'm oh. not gonna deny that you were okay. telling the truth. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, but so, you also have to remember one thing. Like let's say a billionaire. Why would a billionaire let's say buy uh maids? Maids uh, and servants? Uh, 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 uh let's say uh, maids and servants? Exactly. Why would a billionaire that has a lot of servants go buy a slave? He continues. They they continue to do that. 
Why, why would billionaires continue to buy more servants, maids and servants, guys? That's what they do. Mill billionaires literally have, billionaires literally have servants. My friend, that whether, whether or not you want to argue Muhammad's motive, it doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter to me. That doesn't matter to me. Your prophet, your prophet was selling black people. And, and, and Bilal al-Habashi was a slave. He freed him and he made him... Focus, no focus, focus. Your prophet was selling black people. How is this okay for me as a black person my friend, my to, friend, to try to believe in a prophet who was selling my people? That, okay, uh, listen, logic. Let's li listen. This is the real fact. Okay, these we're talking facts now. All right. Who brought millions of Africans as slaves to the United States and Europe was the church. Well, it had nothing to do with the church. And and now and now hey, hey guys, put up the poll. Put up the poll. It's time. Put up the poll. Put Seriously. up the poll. Does he stay or go? I mean, he can't he can't engage. He can't engage. You have nothing to say about your prophet selling people like me? He's not selling, bro. You he just read selling. it. He was not selling. He you just buying. read it. I'm not if he did bought any slaves. You just read it. Black or non-blacks. To free them. You just so read it. As slaves, because Islam came to teach us. It's enough of that. You just read it, and you told me to be honest, but now you're being dishonest with your own text. For some reason, now you're lying about what your prophet did. I wonder why. It amazes me that the Christians are honest about what Muhammad does, and the Muslims. They got to fabricate. They got to lie. They got to dance. They got to color. Everybody vote at the top. Does he stay or does he go? Vote at the top. Does our guest stay or does he go? Eight seconds left. Oh, believe me. They're going to say stay. I hope so. And, and your administration who's giving you instruction, those Arab Zionists, Unfortunately, all right, we, we got 107 votes. 83% says you got to go, man. Sorry about that. I got to move on to the next bro. guest. Have a good night. Sir. You too. Have a good night, man. All right, let's bring up the next guest here. Who at first they said I was being dishonest, found out that I was telling the truth, and then he began to be dishonest. What a turn of events. What a plot twist. What a plot twist. I'm going to lie about the sources. Yeah, Sam, I'm, you know. I don't have to lie about the sources. What is it that we just do around here, y'all? What is it that we do here? Y'all let me know. That's it. Y'all let me know what is it that we do? What do we do here? TikTok got it. TikTok got it. YouTube got it. We just read, man. We just going to read. That's it. We just Go on, read, man. I ain't got to interpret. I don't got to add. I don't got to mix it up. We just going to read. That's it. All right. We got a couple of super chats that I want to get to, man. <laughs> Ari, the believer says, here are your shekels. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see who else we got here. We got um, Anova HD who says, come at them with love and personal experiences. Relate to them how you once were with Jesus and guide them toward seeing the light and take the seal off their lie, off, off of their eyes. Amen to that. Amen to that. We got, why would Momo do it? Because Momo was a degenerate. That's a super chat. 
Another super chat here from Cam Cam Ramrod, who says, keep up the good work. God bless you. Spread the good news and show them the truth. I pray for everyone in the chat that God shines his light on all on you, his light on y'all and brings y'all to the truth and love of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's bring up our next guest. Let's see what we have here. Remember, if you are a non-Christian, you can come up. You don't have to just be a Muslim. If you disagree with Christianity, please don't be an atheist. I don't I will have very little patience for that. But um <clears throat> you're all going to come up. And uh, let's engage, all right? Let's see who we have. Hi, man. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Uh, I want um, I want you to explain something to me. I can't understand this. You hear me? Yeah. Can you tell me what uh, what your beliefs are first? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, in the Bible, Holy Bible. Uh, Wait, can you can you, song, can you can you tell me where what your beliefs Salomon. are first? Can you tell me what your beliefs are first? What? What are your beliefs? Are you a Christian, Muslim, atheist? Uh, now I I nothing. I don't believe anything. You're an atheist. But I want. Uh, yes, I want to ask. Uh, so, can about you, if you're an, if you're an atheist, hold on, just just really quick. If you're an atheist, I want you to do something for me. Can you say that Muhammad is a is a false prophet? First, yeah. Say say yes. Muhammad say Muhammad is a false prophet. I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand you. But can I ask about? Uh, Oh man, this is the type of TikTok we get when we go live at night, guys. Brother, thank you for bringing me inside. First of all, thank you with all respect for you. Don't mm -hmm. mute me if you want. Let's have a conversation, a dialogue, okay? Can you tell me what your beliefs are? I believe I'm a Muslim. I was born a Muslim. I'm from Uganda. My father is a sheikh. Your father's a sheikh. Same, um, yeah. Well, from, sheikh, from shake to shake to your father, I says hi when you see him. Yes. He, he's a leader of one of the biggest houses in Kampala. Okay. So let's talk. Don't mute me. Let's go. As Can long as you are, as long as you are on point and as long as you are, in, or as long you as you're need, respectful, you know, you're, oh, I'm talking. And I have this as long as with all you, respectful, you, 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 I'm talking. Yeah. You told me don't mute you, but you're talking over me already. So no, as the, long the as is, as long as you're is, respectful, brother. excuse me, as long yeah. as you're respectful, as long as you're on point, as long as you are direct, you won't be I'll muted, be direct, you won't be cut off. Brother, but you should also allow me to speak, catch your breath, sit down, look into the camera, watch me. I'll give you. We don't need the scriptures. First of all, you cannot read none of the scriptures. You are <clears throat> reading things which are translated. That's one thing. That's point one I'm giving you already. Point one. Point one. You're okay. reading things. Which, wait, wait. You see, catch your breath. We're gonna we're gonna deal with we're gonna deal with one point at a time, you, my friend. I, I like thing, I like the you energy say, you're bringing already. Brother, you're over talking me now. No, no, no. I told you we're gonna deal with one point at a time. Yeah, I'm giving you one point. Yeah, go ahead. So it's it's translated. The scriptures so on. which are translated. Mm -hmm. I will ask you one question: Can you read any word in Arabic? Can you please wait? I will just give you a simple thing. The first verse in the Quran. Can you please say it to us in in Arabic? How they say? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ashhadu la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Can you read more than that? 
Why? Please. You should, because then you know the translation, what it means. If you cannot read it and you don't know, then you cannot give us the translation in your English. I got you. It means you cannot. So, so, so just to be clear, for all of those Muslims who come to Islam without being able to speak Arabic, they really can't know the Quran or get the message of Allah they because they don't they speak the language. Is that correct? In, if someone go and turn into Islam, they put their heart into Islam. They mm -hmm. will read and they will start speaking it. They will even but they don't understand it. Words. No, you, let me talk, please. Yeah, you didn't answer the if question. Someone if someone go and convert to Islam... You didn't answer the question. I'm answering your question. You don't want me to talk. That's the problem. Do you, do you remember what my question was? Yes. What was my question? If someone go and convert to Islam, they will go... The people who go to Islam... They will go, they will read, and they will know the translation, even how we read it from the what? I thought you was, I thought you was repeating my question. They will understand it. That's the beauty of Islam. All right, so I'm going to do it one more time, my friend. I'm, 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 I'm going to do it one more time. No, because you're okay. waffling. I told you, you won't get cut off no, or muted as long as you are on point. As long as you are, excuse me, now, now you're about to get muted. I told you that you won't get muted as long as you're on point, as long as you're direct. Right now, you're not on point, nor are you direct. I asked a very simple question. You made a point that your argument against me is that I'm using translations. So I asked you a simple question. When Muslims, the large body of Muslims who become Muslim, who do not know the language of Arabic, can they get and understand Allah's message, although they do not speak Arabic or understand it? Please answer that directly. Go ahead. You can unmute now. Yes, they do, bro. They do. They do. Okay. So that means that they can get it in whatever language they speak. There's no reason to go and convert to Islam and follow the word of Allah if you don't understand the words of Allah. So that's why they follow the words of Allah and go and convert to the words of Allah. That's... That's the point. So they I'm come to point. Islam before they know the Arabic language. There's nothing about Islam. Islam is not a language. How, but how do they come to Islam without how, knowing Arabic? The heart, by heart. But how can their heart? How can their heart submit to something they don't understand? By heart, because they see the beauty, the beautiness of the. How the can music. they see any beauty if they don't understand or read what they're what they're. It. Do you have five cents? We have five cents. You okay, so so the beauty of a thing, the so feeling, so it, so the truth is based on feeling. They feel it, and they see it. So the feeling is so the so the truth is based on feeling. What? The truth is based on feeling. Seeing, understanding. Okay, seeing, so yeah. therefore Christianity is true. Senses. Christianity is true. There's so many people who feel the love of Christianity, feel its warmth. I feel it. I I believe it. And because of that feeling that I get, my heart leads to it. Christianity is true. Yeshua Akbar. True, true. Let me ask you one question. Eh? Bring the book of Enoch first. Why? Me, eh? Why? Why? Because it's a what? It's a scripture. Who says that? You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Now, now you... Where does your Quran say the book of Enoch is scripture? Bring the book of Enoch. Start the poll. About those scriptures. Start the poll. Start the poll. Why won't you speak about the book of Enoch? Your Quran, why, why doesn't your Quran speak about the book of Enoch? It does, man. Show me. About of Enoch, uh oh. It does. Show me. You, what? Show me where your Quran speaks about the book of Enoch. What? Show me where your Quran speaks about, book? about book? the book of Enoch. The, my book tells us about all the prophets. Who have been? We don't say Enoch. Show me where your well, show me where your the book Christian mentions Enoch. Say Enoch was a prophet. Show me, show me, show me where it mentions his book. Where? In the Quran. We're not talking about the Quran. We're talking about your book. Which why? Why would? Why would I talk about the book of Enoch? It's not scripture. Because you say Christianity. You said one thing. Christianity. It makes us. And then I told you. Okay. It's, I'm with. Start you. the poll. So I'm asking one question. You say you said your own words before, even people that are recording this. You say you say Christianity makes blah, 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 blah. and then I told you, okay, brother, brother, why don't you speak about the book of Enoch? There's the poll, you guys. Go ahead and vote. Got a minute. 
So if the Book of Enoch is scripture, why doesn't Allah talk about it in the Quran? Why should Allah speak about it? Why should I? Because it's your book, you. No, it's not. If you don't know the sense, that's why our book only speaks about which things which we have to know about. What? Yeah, our book speaks about the things which we have to know about. But your book everybody both itself. Top top left, top of my corner, right here. Everybody both. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the top of the corner. This is reality. You sure you're there's a Muslim? So scriptures, there's so many scriptures from your book which have been erased. Our book don't erase no scriptures. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. Five seconds. It's Get written. your votes in. Five it's seconds. Been the same book since it was written. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. So out of 154 votes, 83% of people said you got to go, my friend. So sorry, you got to go. The people have spoken. Catch you next time. Let's see if we can get someone, someone serious. South Paul's been here for a minute. Guys, man, can't make this up. <laughs> Cannot make this stuff up. Yo, uh, I, I'm a Muslim, but I'm American. And uh, when, whenever people say Muhammad married a six-year-old girl, in order to be a Muslim, you have to understand the Quran. Muhammad owned and sold black slaves. Um, Islam is Arabic supremacy. If, if there is a black Muslim, he basically has to lose his identity, bow down to an Arabic book that he can't understand. It's all true. Muhammad married a six-year-old girl. Is God... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not even mad at that one. I'm not even mad at that one. Oh man, I am not even mad at that one. Absolutely hilarious. Golden moment. Golden moment. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, work. Hearing? Yeah, you at work? You look like you're at work. Can you hear me? Oh, looks like it cut off for him. All right. This is why I don't go live this late, guys. This is why I do not go live this late. I mean, bruh. The type of people that come up on TikTok at this hour, they remind you uh, to give God glory and praise because it could have been you. The creeps come out at night. That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely right. The creeps come out at night. The creeps come out at night. Lord, have mercy on my soul and my brain. What, man? Yo. Why do you keep coming to my lives? What do you mean? You told, you was telling the Muslims, remember I told you, talked to you about this before. You told the Muslims not to sit with me, not to talk with me because I insult the prophet, I insult the religion. Why do you keep coming to sit with me? It's, it's like you're afraid or something. You have to be like, Wait. I just don't understand why. And you're not the only one. The other guy named Free Slave, who I cooked and barbecued the, a few days ago, he said, he, he like, don't talk to logic. Don't go. Okay, don't have me up. Have him up on your panels. And then here you guys come. What? What is what that? Wait, you said his name is what? Don't worry about it. What? What? What is? What? What is this? 
free slave. He said free slave. What what is this that you guys have this? You tell Muslims not to come. You tell Muslims don't have me on the panels. You know, you all guys automatically block me, and then you come and want to sit with me. You want to chill with with logic. What is that? You have a, you have a background behind you. I came up to address that background. But why would you sit with one who blasphemes the Prophet and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? Why sit with me? You can't. It goes against your religion, doesn't it? But but you just said you talked to free slave and he he said the same thing. But you argued with him. Why why can't you? Yeah. Why him? why do you guys? So get get the, get what I'm asking you. Why are you guys hypocrites? I guess I'm a hypocrite then. Why? I know. I, I guess I'm a hypocrite. Then. I understand. Thank you for admitting that. My question is why. No, I, I guess I'm a hypocrite. Can we, can we start the? Because look, you never just a single question I asked you. I haven't. You never for three months. You never. You have never. I just. I addressed all your questions. Start the poll. I gave you twenty scholars that says the Bible was corrupt. Twenty. Start months. the poll. I addressed my question about the four. Why are you hypocrite? Mark. The four corrupted endings of Mark. Please address. Why are you question. hypocrite? Why can't you address the question about the four endings of Mark? I addressed you. Start the poll. Like, dude, you have a background behind you. You obviously want to debate. I come with a question. You came I want to debate people. serious people. You know, I want to. I, I want to debate people who can be direct, who can answer, who can engage intellectually, who you know are mature. I, that's that's the type of people I want to talk to, man. I, I don't I don't do the fakeness. I don't I don't like fake people. I don't mess with fake people. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you're gonna if you're gonna be one way, be that way. Don't be that way in front of a crowd, a particular crowd, and then when you're out of that crowd, come and try to hang with with your boy. I don't focus on the crowds. Start the poll, mods. Where you where y'all at? Poll for what? You'll see. We have this new thing here at God Logic Apologetics where it's not really. I don't. I let the people decide whether or not a person stays or not. So it's up to them if they want. If they uh, want to hear I from asked you. I asked a question and you ran from me. Yes, well, Lahi left the live after I asked his question. Start the poll. So can you can you answer my question about the four endings of Mark, please? Can you answer I, my I, question on why you're a hypocrite? There's four endings of Mark. I, I just I guess I'm a hypocrite because I, I, I admitting you're a hypocrite is the first step. That's beautiful. Now let's get to the core of it. Why the hypocrisy? That's what I'm asking. Don't say to my to my to my question. I guess I'm a hypocrite. We already got past that. You said that four times. Thank you for admitting it. That's the first step. Second step is getting to the core of the matter and meeting the problem and the issue where it truly lies. Okay. So why it. are you a hypocrite? I guess I'm a hypocrite because I'm do uh, I'm I'm attacking. I'm I'm I'm, I'm seriously seriously I am getting ready to remove um, my moderators. You guys was just here making the making doing mod, the polls. Where yeah, are yeah, you I'll, guys? I'll, I'll be a mod. I'll, I'll be mod. I'll be mod. I'll, I'll be mod. I'll Don't be worry. Mod. I'll just I'll just make an executive uh, decision. Take care, man. Stop coming here. What's up, bro? What up, what up? So what you got going on? Hmm? What's, what you got going on? So what's the topic? Jesus is God, change my mind. Jesus is God, Christianity is true. Whatever whatever problems you got with Christianity, man, you can bring them. You're a Muslim? Uh yeah. Okay, yeah. Whatever, whatever issues you have with Christianity, you can bring them. If you just want to tell me why Islam is true, you can talk about that. And we can, you know, wherever you want to go with it. So can you give me the Reference where you had that said that Jesus is God, that he, Jesus claimed that himself. Can you give me the reference where he claimed that himself? Yeah, yeah. Where he claimed it? Where is that where he claimed it? Yeah, Re Revelation chapter 22, verse no, 13. Where he claimed it, yeah, like, in the gospels. Yeah, yeah. Where, revelation, where, revelation, where, revelation, where, how many years after that? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's him speaking. He was already. No, I mean, the three, you're talking about him, 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 him leaving the earth doesn't mean he doesn't exist anymore. I beg the devil. Why? Do, do you believe I when mean, you do you believe when you die or like you or when you go to heaven, for example, when you go to heaven, you're gonna not exist or you just move to the next life, right? I 
Let's 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 stick right Let's go. Let's go back to the top. Where he, I'm gonna hear where he saved himself when the one of his disciples heard him. He never claimed to himself. Yeah, to this is John. Yeah, this is John. He never claimed to himself mm. amongst the disciples. He always said, "Yeah, I'm the Son of Man." No, no. Well, the Son of Man is God. That's another thing. But... Everybody, the devil, the devil, the devil of the evil spirits called him the Son of God, or. God himself, and other people did. He never made that claim himself. I that, verified it myself. He never made a claim that what? He never made a claim himself. He never called himself God. He never the called himself thing, God. The only thing, no, he did. Only thing close to saying that was he said he we quoted Psalms. He quoted Psalms, I believe. I don't want to lie. He quoted a song where it said, "Ye are gods." He quoted that. Okay, well, let's talk about this. Who's the first and the last? The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Okay. Who that? Who that? The creator. That's right. I agree. The one that has no beginning, the one who has no end. Boom. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. It's Revelation 22, 13. Uh, you keep going to Revelation. This Revelation was, have, Revelation was put in the Bible years after. No, it was in the it was in the scriptures, by, and it's and who? it's been in the scriptures. By who? By, by, who? by the by the church father. When, we, when John had this Vision? What was John at when he had this vision? He, he was on the island of Patmos. What's wrong with that? Okay, where, where is that at? But wait, what's wrong with that? Where is that at? Where is that at? Wait, what, what, why, why, that? why does that matter? He spoke with you know what Jesus. I'm saying? I'm saying it's influenced by who? The same people who was in that region years No, after. John John had a vision and Jesus visited him in a vision and told him who he was. What's the problem? He had a vision. We're talking about a man who said who claimed he had a vision. A man who claimed he had a vision. All right. Then he's the only was, person who made this claim. Nobody else is verified. I was waiting. He's the only person who made this claim. Right? I was waiting on you he's to the only person who made this claim. I'll, Nobody has verified. I know where no worries. I was I was actually waiting on you to say that. You're a Muslim, right? Okay. I, I know where you're gonna go. I know where you're gonna go. I, come on, come on. Okay. Come on. So who was a witness to Muhammad's experience in the cave? There are plenty of different times when he received revelation because he I, i'm the, i'm asking specifically hold on. about his cave hold on. experience hold on hold on hold on nobody was there and if you know the story correctly what happened once he left the cave he thought he was tripping he thought he lost his mind mm -hmm. he wasn't sure that he seen what he seen he did he wasn't even sure no he he's, was he was sure about he what he's because he, 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 he if you read if you know the history he thought he was demon dead. possessed who, who did? Muhammad. He he thought that he was being attacked by a demon. He thought, I mean, yeah, you know, he did too. He, because he had the vision. I mean, anybody who had the vision who was seeing things, I'm mean, pretty sure you think you go. John didn't. Like that. John didn't. I mean, even 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 Mary didn't know when the angels vision Mary. She was she was scared too. She well, well, but immediately. Well, she, well, she but hold on. Immediately, you could be startled when you see an angel, but immediately the angel announces who he is and what he's there for, and brings peace. He literally says, "Peace. Don't be afraid." And so every person that an angel comes to, including Mary, they are they have peace. They don't go, they don't walk away from the experience thinking that they were demon possessed. None of them ever. It's, 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 it's more technical in a sense, and I would say I I say this from a human experience because Muhammad, Jesus, they were all human. We're gonna they won't leave it like that. We all humans. Mm -hmm. So from a human experience, knowing that you just had this. Revelation, or whatever you want to call it, this visit from this divine source or whatever, mm -hmm. along with the fact that you know you have a duty in front of you, a vast mission in front of you, I'm pretty sure any man will feel intimidated, feel crazy, not sure of himself. But not demon-possessed. His wife was right there to comfort her and let him know that you are meant for this. This is you, you are not losing your mind. He had had confirmation many times. No. So head? so again, I'm I'm shaking my head because you're you're taking Muhammad's experience and you're you're coloring it. Don't color it. Let's take it for what it was. There wasn't a single prophet, a single person who had an experience with an angel coming to them and giving them a revelation and they left that experience feeling as if they were demon possessed, wanting but, to unalive themselves. But, that never happened. So look, this is why this is important, because when you look at how the prophets received revelation, whether it's from God himself or if it was from an angel, if there's a consistency, you there's a peace that they have, 
There's a comfort that they have, and there's never a fear that they have experienced a demon, ever, ever. So what does that tell you when it comes to Muhammad? What does it tell you? It tells you that Muhammad experienced a demon, not God or an angel. That's your opinion, though. That's not we. We basically going off the of theory and opinion. No, that, off of that's we going off of opinions and theories. I'm going. Opinions. I'm going off of. So this is what I'm going off of. I'm going off of the consistency and the continuity of the previous prophets, their experiences, right? What well, how how they experienced the angels, how they experienced God. Putting that in a collective, we have a large sample size. Put that all. Okay, they. It's all like this. I look at Muhammad's experience. Nothing like that. Nothing like the large body of examples that we have. That's number one. Number two, I look at what comes after. What did Muhammad teach? Was it in line with the prophets or was it against what the prophets collectively taught? And the answer is what Muhammad taught was, was against the collective message of the prophets. How? So for example, the prophets taught that God was the father, was the heavenly father. No, that, hold on. First of all, let's go back to where this came from. We're talking about prophets who was of the Jewish tribe, the Jewish tribe. This is how they talk. This is their terminology. Mm -hmm. This is their terminology. And yeah. the word father, and the word father that they used in the language that they spoke did not mean father that we seen. Yes, it does. It meant father, the word, the, the word was simple. It was ab or abba. It was simple. Okay, it literally means father. You can be a father in many senses. You can be an adoptive father. You can be a literal father. You can, you know, stuff like that. So, you, so do you call God father? Absolutely. But here's the here's the point. So you hey, comparing God? So you wait, wait. God here, on man term. Here, here's the here's the point. No, no. Father is is a God term, not a man's term. We are re reflecting God's character. It starts with Him. The father figure oh. starts with God. He's the original father. Then. Hey, hold on. It's it's not a hit or miss. This is, it's not a hit or miss because look, this is what I'm talking about. The reason why it's not a hit or miss is because it was according to the doctrine of the prophets. The theology of the prophets, what they taught about God, was that he was by identity the heavenly father. He was the heavenly father. So that's by God's identity. He does, he doesn't change. But when we come to the Quran and Muhammad, he he teaches that God emphatically rejects being a father in any way, shape, or form. Do you know why? Doesn't matter why. Why? Do you, what you mean? It doesn't matter why. The re because if I, mean, I understand your belief, I understand your belief, I understand that. But for me, I question everything. Mm -hmm. So I want to know why. So I question why myself. Like why? Because anything that. In comparison, that's comparing God to any type of human relationship or human form or human anything, is we draw a line between that. So God, when you say Father, you call another man a Father, so we don't call God. That's the only reason why, because you don't want to call a supreme being something that you can call another human. All right, I heard you. The reason why I disagree is watch this. Do you call? Would can you call a man your master? You can. Is Allah your master? Yes. So that is a title or a relationship that is relatable to Allah that's shared among humans. But the word, I mean, we're talking English, though. No, we're not talking English. English. We're talking, I mean, like, you're, you're we talking speak, no. We say master. I mean, no. you say master in English, since you're going to get that, you're going to get the same thing. But when you say mook, you say mook, you're talking about a mastery that's on a level of ownership, mastery, and sovereignty. Doesn't matter. So, well, here's the point. You have a master and servant relationship shared between humans, and Allah also takes that, or I wouldn't say he takes that, but he also has that relationship with you, that with believers, that you are, that nobody, you know, his creation is are his servants and he is their master. That's literally what the Quran says. So this is a relatable thing, relatable relationship that we find with Allah. That's also among humans. So the excuse that, oh, well, you know, this father and son terminology, like that's 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 stuff that you that you that's that's human terms, that's human relationships, and that God is way above that. Well, that that's that excuse goes out the window because we see that Allah uses 
human terminology and relationships and applies it to himself and how he deals with humankind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that excuse doesn't work. The, the very fact that he goes against the prophet's theology, man, shows that he's not, he's not a prophet of God. And what he experienced was not from God in the cave. Okay, we we weren't there in the cave. We the one there in the cave. We're going off of beliefs. We going we both going off of beliefs at the end of the day. Yeah. Beliefs and beliefs is not founded on knowledge. Like me and you know that we are talking right now. It's not belief, no belief between that. You know what I'm saying? So knowledge and belief are two different things. Like we're going off of something that been accounted, and from the Islamic point of view, it has been verified that he received different revelations in many forms. And people was around and seeing him witness of revelations. So, like I said, we're going to based, based off of beliefs, theories, and things that happened in the past. We won there. So, but we have we that we have to we and we have to we have like of course I, I wasn't there at Jesus' crucifixion, but I'm yeah. believing the you report. You choose to believe it. You choose to believe it. Yes, because so because I but I choose to, I have my I have my reasons why I'm choosing to believe it. I, yeah, yeah. You know, so like when it comes to this, you know, same with Islam, like I'm. I don't know for sure if he was in a cave or not. I am only going based off of the report, the authentic reports about his life, you know, that's accepted. So I'm just going off what, what, you know, what that, what that stuff says. So according to the, what we get, we get that he was in a cave, had an experience with some type of spiritual entity. And in that experience, he came out fearful, sweating, pulsing, you know, uh, nervous, suicidal. huh? Suicidal. Suic suicidal. Yep, suicidal. All of these things, which does not match the experiences that I see when the prophets of old have experiences with angels and with God. And you are correct about that, but the station that Prophet Muhammad holds is above the station of every other prophet. No, nope. this is what the hold on. Hold on. See, you saying no, but I'm telling you the belief. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not here to tell you this is this and this is that. I'm telling you the belief system itself. The uh, what you call it, the creed itself. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm saying. trying to help you with that because I know the creed. No, no, I don't need. No, I don't need. No, I'm, I'm like I say. We choose to believe what we want to believe. Like if I, if I choose to believe that a black cat causes bad luck. I choose to believe that. That doesn't mean it causes a bad luck. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Because I choose to believe that. Yeah. Uh, but so, you know according to the Quran, the Quran literally says, uh, "This is what Allah says in the Quran." We, he says, "We make we make no distinction between the prophets." That's what Allah says in the Quran. We make no distinction. So, for you to say that it's part of the creed that Muhammad holds a higher station than the prophets, distinction, distinction meaning what? Distinction meaning what? Mean no, none of them are greater than the other. There's no difference. No, that, that, that's not the distinction that it's talking about. That's not the distinction that it's talking about because it, it says there are five prophets that are high esteem, and Jesus Christ is the second one. The Quran doesn't say that. Yes, it does. It says it named five prophets of high esteem. Okay, where? where you know I mean? Give me the verse. Jesus. I had to find it. I will find it. I mean, you want me to find it right now? Yeah, yeah. We got, we got time. We chilling, man. Ain't no rush. We chilling. Like, if you got, if you, if you got a second device, go ahead and uh, hop on, hop on the search and. I need I want to see that verse where it says there are five there are five prophets of high esteem or anything of in that like. All right, let me see if I find it for you. Bro. I'm telling you right now, man, I'm a shake and I never seen that verse. Yo, what? I'm a shake. I know, I know, I know. I studied this for years. I know I went off I'm going to store All right. Old book. Name, I know I know who they are. That's the crazy part about it. Yeah, I mean that that's a it's a I would tell you that that's more of a tradition that you've learned, not a Quran verse. It's not in the Quran that there's five if esteemed. Wrong, if, I wrong, if I'm wrong, I would tell you I'm, I'm tell, I don't mind telling you I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong, I'll tell you I'm wrong. But I know that um by the way, on YouTube, guys, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, I'm hearing that the likes are not matching the viewership. We almost got a thousand people on YouTube watching. So go ahead, guys. Let's hit the like button. If you haven't already, if you forgot to do it, make sure you guys smash that like button like you fear disobedience from it. All right. You guys know the drill. Hit that like button. While, while our friend is looking for the verse, I'm going to go ahead and read a couple of super chats here. We got uh, Immortal, who says Genesis 127. 
why out of billions of planets God decided to give us his image? Or are you implying that there are aliens that look like us too? Uh, it's not about physicality, my friend. It's not about us looking like God, but it's us being made in his image, having his character, sharing his traits in that sense. That's in the way that we are in his image, not that we look like God physically. He's not a physical being. He doesn't have a physical form. All right. Let's see here. Christianity doesn't have objective morality. It's wrong about Noah's flood, Adam and Eve, and the order of creation. It condones slavery and genocide. If you disagree, then add me so we can debate this. Come to TikTok. The Bible condones slavery too, and uh, in the New Testament, oh, we had a whole slave escaped, and the man told him to go back to slavery. What? what? Philip, the book is there the book of Philip. What's the book? What, what, the slave escape, and it's, a, it's in the it's in the New Testament, bro. The whole chapter dedicated to a slave that escaped, and they wrote a letter to tell him to go back to slavery. No, they said they, no. They they told the master to free him. He was a brother in Christ. Well, the point of matter is slavery was still condoned. Then. It so depends on what you're talking about. about. If you're, I'm saying, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to whoever. Not you're, not you're not, not you're the really. chance. No, there wasn't no chattel slavery in the Bible. That wasn't condoned. That was actually condemned. It says whoever so well, slavery right then, slavery just ended in recent 1700, 1800. Yeah, that type of slavery was not condoned by the Bible. Actually, according to the Bible, according to the Bible, hold on, let me finish, bro. According to the Bible, that kind of slavery, where well, you were supposed to be put to death for that type of slavery. If you kidnapped somebody from their home, forced them into slavery, um, or sold him off, you were to be put to death, and the person who bought him was to be put to death. That's Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. So... Yeah, uh, for that person who's saying all that kind of stuff, you can come on TikTok. If you have 200 followers, you can come on and uh, engage. And you can go ahead and uh, bring those topics up if you want. Shake logic is the truth. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen to that. God bless. God bless. God bless. I'm telling you, brother, it's not there. It don't exist, man. I would never lie to you, man. I don't say all that. <laughs> it might be it might be something I, I, I say, but uh, I'm trying to tell you, man. Shake, shake you, you, uh, you, hold on. you might be right, bro. Shake shake that. logic will never lie to you, man. I'm telling you. Shake logic will never lie to you, bro. I give you that one, but still, this is the point of the matter with that though, bro. I'll give you that one because I can't find that enough. I know where it's so I would say this though. I would say this though about that when it said there's no distinction. It's because people were making up six, making up different groups following certain property. Like some people follow this property, some people follow this property. You know what I'm saying? So and like it happened with Moses and with Jesus. Some people remain followers of Moses, the Jews, and some people remain followers of Christ. And there was a separation, so that it it became a distinction between which property, but that the distinction was eliminated amongst they said they are one proper hood, one group it's like one solid brotherhood amongst these men yeah but the five there were five who had high esteem amongst all of them because you can't compare abraham and jeremiah you can't compare why not moses and isaiah why not moses brought a law why not though no, I'm saying that's what the people was doing at the time. But I'm saying you know, you're, you're, oh, you're saying that's what they were doing. Yeah. Okay. So so this is the point that we got to. Um, you have all the prophets when we read about them and look at their experiences, their experiences when they experience God and experience angels is completely different from what we see how Muhammad experienced that spiritual entity that he found in the cave. And that spiritual entity that he found in the cave, we find no resemblance when it comes to angels, but we find resemblance when it comes to demons. We see demon possession that looks like that. Yeah. Bro, what you keep talking about the demons for, bro? You keep because he thought he was demon possessed. That's him, not me. He, Muhammad thought he was demon possessed, and if I was there, I would have put him to the side and said, "Bro, you're you're exactly right." Time, I, I like to think I like. 
pay realistically about certain things for me to understand certain things. Because I'm, I was in the same situation. I'm in a cave by myself. It's some pop up out of nowhere, scared of hell. I'm, 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 I might, I might trip out too. Not just scared. Not just he's it's, a, he's it's a natural man. He's it's not natural, just popping. No, dude. I don't know man. It's not just popping out of nowhere on you. It's the the spirit comes and then grabs him and presses on him to where he can't breathe. And is like yelling at him, read, read. He's saying, I can't read. Let's him go. Comes back again, grabs him, pushes on him, presses on him, holds him down until he can't breathe against his will. Read, read. Like this type, it's oppression, bro. You don't see this with the angels. You don't see this with God, with the prophets. That's oppression. This is why he was fearful. This is why he was, he thought he was suicide. This is why. You don't see this with the prophets, bro. But you, where you, what you do see this is, if you go to the New Testament and you look at the demon possessions, that's what you see. You'll see them, the bodies being thrown to the throne all over the place and them convulsing and uh, uh, being pressed and, and oppressed. That's what you see. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sure. <clears throat> Because you're saying the demon possession stuff, right? So I'm trying to. What's your question, brother? <laughs> Go ahead and ask him, man. Do you think what? All right. You know, true. You know, a tree by the fruit it bears, right? Yes. So the fruit that came about. From this tree, this man, because the tree and the fruit are symbolic to a man's deeds. So this tree being Muhammad and the fruit he brought, do you think that could be some type of demon in, in, involved in any of this? Absolutely. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So look, let's, let's see. This religion that this so this man, I'm going to call him a man, this man Muhammad brought. And over the years, what came about? The peace that it brought. Over the years, hold on. When when practiced properly, I would say this: when practiced properly, when practiced properly, because because the crusades were wars on both sides and foul play on both sides throughout the whole, and still to this day, it's still some type of it's a little crusade. The crusades were sides. to stop is the, it's the racism, Muslim. It's racism in Christianity. It's probably no. There's not. No. No side is perfect. No side is perfect. No side is perfect. Because did Jesus teach racism? Because they preach that in churches right now. No, they don't. Yeah. Hold on. I done, I done seen it before. I done seen it before. They teach, they, pre they preach against interracial dating. They preach against all this type of stuff. I've seen it before with my own eyes. There is no so such you know, thing. There is no such thing. I'm going to tell you this right now, bro. There, there is, there is, there is no you such thing. Let me tell you. You there, might not do it. There is no such preach, thing as a Christian church. Hold on, Salam. Salam. There is no such thing as a Christian church. That teaches racism, that teaches prejudice. There's no such thing. Anybody that, anybody that anybody that claims hear, hear me out. Anybody that claims to be a follower of Christ and is preaching racism is not a Christian. It's as simple as that. And that's why and that's why I want to say to you about any Muslim, somebody who claims to be a Muslim or Islamic that does things that are against peace or that's violent, they do they want it's the same thing. No, it's not. So I say when it practical. Why well, I say when it practice properly? I I know, and and so that's what the question is: is does Islam teach these practices, or is it against these practices? That's the question, and so the, so the answer is is that Islam actually teaches the violence. It actually teaches the uh, the prejudice. It actually teaches these things. Oh, you got you got tremendous, you got horrific war scenes all throughout the Bible, bro. Especially two bro. So we not go. Mm, this bro, it was like. So let's I mean, let's 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 do this. Let's look at the fruit, because you because I, I like that angle. Because that's next. Was do, is he does he line up with the prophets? No. What about his fruits? Does his fruits reflect that he's a prophet of God? What he taught and how and, and what the people following him practice. Let's see. The answer is no. 
So for, Moses, Moses, Moses for, broke a whole people free from slavery. He, he like he 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 did what he or Tim did times ten. Yeah, but Muhammad didn't. Muhammad owned slaves and sold them. Black ones. So you, so you telling me none of the other prophets had slaves or owned servants had servants? They had indentured servitude. They didn't have slaves and and based off race. Slave was a norm back then. Slave been a norm always. Having having black slave slaves. Slave was a norm for people. Having, it's not normal for us, but slave was a norm. What about having people. slaves based on race? I mean, it was a it's an evil. I mean, I'm not the donor. It was a necessary evil. It's a necessary evil that people had to deal with. I mean, you think it it's a nest? Wait, 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 wait. wait. In, you in think a it's in a tour, you think it's a necessary tour. evil to have slavery based on race? Because okay, I mean, are we hold on? Are we gonna are we gonna call slavery good? Or me and you gonna call slavery good? Who, how how do me and you look at slavery as the evil, right? We look at that as wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm looking at, I'm look, yeah. So just understand, I'm not looking at indentured servitude. I'm not, I'm looking at, look at yeah, I'm looking at the slate, the type of slavery that is chattel slavery, the type of slavery that is slavery based off race. That's the type mm -hmm. of slavery I'm looking at, not where someone volunteers their service and says, "Hey, I, I have no way to, where to go. Um, I have a family. We have no food. I will." Give you my services. That's service, yeah. yeah, that's indigenous yeah. servitude. That's what the Bible talks about. Yeah, and then they. Going on. Okay, so it's Muhammad Muhammad had slaves based off their race. What slave he had? He had so he had multiple. He had multiple slaves based off their race. Which one? So like Which one? so I have a hadith I was reading to the to the guy before you. It says that Muhammad bought a non-black slave. He was buying a non-black slave. For two black slaves, like he used two black slaves to buy that one. I don't slave. like how I don't do the hadiths. Hadiths been manipulated, and men have paid for the hadiths. This how they paid for the Bible. Well, how do you, how do you know anything about Muhammad then? I don't listen. I don't do all the. I, there's some hadiths that are authentic, and you it's common sense, but a lot of hadiths, bro. Well, this, uh, this is authentic. The greatest. I don't have been manipulated. The greatest uh, sahih, bro. Huh? The greatest sahih. Which one? The one about him selling two black slaves for a non-black slave. I mean, I, I which, one, which, which one, where is that at? So it's, it's, hold on, let me turn my screen around so you can see yourself. Because just because, say, like, I mean, you know, it's kings and rulers who, who, who force people to write hadiths and say it's like, I mean, so, I mean, just because it says like, or just because it's written back, right on me, I would just go to the end. This is Sunan, this is Sunan on the side. Sunan Nanasai 4184. Yeah. It says, a slave came and pledged to the prophet to immigrate. Sorry. To immigrate. <clears throat> and the prophet did not realize that he was a slave. Then his master came looking for him. The prophet said, sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. Then he did not accept the pledge from anyone until he asked, is he a slave? And the great, the great Asahi, it's authentic. Like no? I said, bro, I don't believe too much. Man, look, uh, I ain't gonna lie, you can, uh, yeah, this a hit and miss me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro, because I just know the history of how kings and rulers and all this stuff forced scholars and force people to write hadiths bro yeah so like i mean i'm not saying that what you're saying in the hadith is wrong is it wrong i'm just saying I, i'm into hadiths is me, bro. Would, would you say would you would you say like that that right there what we just read is is wrong would you say that i want to say that i mean i would have to actually look at it and actually just sit there and study like even with the Hebrew though so it's like but that don't even sound right because that sounds like a Something that goes against because with how these folks like how these like how most of people do it, like if you find one hadith that contradicts something else, like you dis disagree with the hadith. Like look, you find look, hadith look. Go against the Quran, or you go find hadith to go against Islam principle, you look. disagree with hadith and like for him to trade one slave for two slaves, that, that kind of like and two black slaves like, specifically. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, two guys. I mean I, I mean, I understand what you're saying about the color, but I'm saying this is a thing for one for two. It don't even sound right. They don't even sound like that's 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 what it was, bro. One for one, 
it would have been, would that, that would stood out to me the most because it was one for two. If it would been one for one, like a strange, yep. then it would be something more, but like, probably was against stuff like that. that well, he, well, look, the idea they said, well, look, the idea that I read, he was against. Well, he's not. He's not against slavery, bro. So look, look, look at the chapter heading. I'm not saying against slavery. I'm not, against, uh, I'm not saying against slavery. I'm saying against selling one of anything for two of the same thing. Well, he That's wasn't, bro. Usury. Look, look, look at the um. Look, look at the chapter heading, bro. This is what also gets me about this. The chapter heading: selling animals, selling animals for animals, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the, you just don't like Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> But this is Islam. It's not just Arabs. Salam. This is Islam that we're talking about. Forget, forget Arab culture or anybody. Arabs, and I would say this with proudness. I would say this unapologetically. Arabs are not like I didn't hear Arabs say that black people can't be Muslim. Yeah. I heard this like I just like two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I understand like they mindset. So I understand like that racism and I understand it. But do you see but like because remember it has nothing to do with it has it has rights. It's true. So here, here's my thing though. Because remember, we're talking about fruits. So the Arabs who follow Muhammad would have a basis for acting the way they're acting because of stuff like this. Because stuff like this is in Islam. Where selling animals for animals, selling black slaves, buying them, and for for one non-black, like they're they're worth less or whatever, like that that type of ideology is in Islam. So they have a basis for having that attitude. Is it, is it in Islam or is it in their culture? Or is it it's in is that this is Islam, bro. If for the most for the Muslim Arabs, for the Muslim Arabs who have a racist undertone to their attitude. They get it from Islam. It's embedded in Islam. I don't want to say they get it from Islam because I don't want to say that. I don't want to say they get it from Islam. I don't want to use that particular word. I want to, I, because that particular word has its own meaning. So when you say Islam, you say submission to God. That's how I translate that in my mind. I oh, don't, no, because linguistically, that's how what it, that's what it comes out to. That's how I translate. Well, like, we're, we're, like we're, 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 when we're talking about no, when we're talking about Islam, we're talking about the religion that Muhammad came professing and teaching in okay, so in in the Arabian Peninsula. Find, that's how you want to find it for this conversation. Hmm? That's, yeah, that's, that's what that's this like is. Of it. Yeah, that's what this is. So what we're talking about is the fruits. We're talking about the fruits that come from Muhammad. We already saw that his experience was not like the prophets. And now we're seeing what are his fruits? What is he teaching? What is he doing? This is an example. Selling animals for animals, two black slaves for not one non-black. And there's multiple, there's more stuff like this, bro. Bro. There's more stuff like this. This is this I is what I can't, I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't like I say, bro. You put out a hot deep. I can't just I can't I can't go off that. Like you said, I understand. All right, See, all right so what, what if we go to the Quran? You focus on we focus on something that that Muhammad did. We focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on something that Muhammad did. Like you said, we focus on so, utilize, so, utilize so, so, the so why, religion, so why, if, if, if you're, okay, so if that's the case, then why is Muhammad doing this? If it's not part of the religion, why is Muhammad doing and acting like this? I don't think he did that. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That noise, I mean. No, see, it doesn't fit what you, you're, it doesn't. Lie. That's my first time, you pulled that out, and that's my first time even seeing something of in nature. Yeah, because look what I'm. What, it's on the internet, bro. It's on the internet. Anybody could have wrote that. It's it's the hadiths. That's the hadiths are on the internet. That's Sunnah dot com. That's in the books. That's in the books, bro. Look, I'm gonna go to the club. I'm in the 
Get an old book, get an old Sunan Ibn Majah book, get an old Jamiat Termini Hadith book. Get in the books. But I'm I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you more things in this. I did tell you, you just rejected it. I did tell you, you just rejected it. And Matthew Bart, Luke John, what did Jesus say he was I, I can show you those places too, but right now we're in a, we're in a right now right now we're at a we're at a good place right now. I don't want I John on say on island of Panamos. You know what I'm saying? I won't. Right now, right now we're at a good place, man. You know, we're at a good place. I want to show you, I want to show you in the Quran, it's racist too. The same for self. I'm gonna show you the same thing in the Quran. But yeah, this is this is the fruits of Islam, bro. This is the fruit of Muhammad. Slave trading, what you Slave trading, man. Black people, people that look like you and me. I mean, but what if they, if they, if they have been white? We, 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 we just talk down white. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes. We should... had to come that way. No, we would not be yes, we would. Abs absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. What do you mean? Come on, man. Well, no. Well, well, I'm I'm touching on it because we're talking about the racism in Islam and what it touches on the evil things. It's so fruit. What about the racism in Christianity? I'm that there is no racism in Christianity. There's not a. There, look, notice how you see how I can pull up a reference within Islamic sources showing racism. You can't do that with the Bible. You can't go to a single verse in the Bible and pull out uh, pull out racism. You can't, because it doesn't exist. I mean, you can with the Jews and the Gentiles because because once I said the Jews didn't want to sit with the Gentiles because why they were unclean. It was a form of racism. Well, and get and get. Jesus, told but, them, Jesus said, "I came from my people." No, so no, no, stop, stop, stop. So salam, salam, stop, stop right there. I'm just what, so saying. what you salam, stop right there. What you have in the Bible with it comes to the Jews and the Gentiles. The Bible says in Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. No Jew nor Gentile, no free nor slave. So the Jew who's acting weird towards the Gentile, and in, in fact, Peter was doing this and was called out by it by Paul, was corrected. That type of stuff is corrected in the Bible. You'll never see that stuff condoned or, or, or you know, allowed. You'll never see that. You'll see it checked right on the spot. Peter got checked. For acting different toward the Gentiles. You're right about that. Yeah. In Islam, I can show you this stuff of clear racism. Unchecked, promoted, allowed. In the Quran? In the Quran or outside? Both. I just showed you outside the Quran. I can show you in the, in the Quran. I, I, I don't care about it. I don't want to see it in the Quran. All right. All right. Let's go, go to chapter 3, verse 106. Chapter 3, verse 106. Bro, we not going to do that, bro. <laughs> bro, that's not talking about no slavery or nothing like that, bro. That's not... Bro, you, that, you know what? Elijah Muhammad used the same thing to turn the Quran against white people, bro. He used the same type of play on words to say that the white people will show the blue eyed white devil because a certain person is wrong because they're a certain color or whatever. Bro, that's saying black is just a color that people have always associated with evil. And white has always been a term that people always associate with white. That's why I don't let people call me black. I really don't like people call me black because I'm not, I don't like that term. You see what I'm saying? But like I'm saying, like that's, that verse right there, bro, has nothing to do with slavery or anything like that bro. so let's read it it says on the day on the day of resurrection some fit when some faces will become white and some faces will be will become black yeah. as for those whose faces will become white i'm sorry for, uh, uh as for those faces who as for those whose faces will become black it will be said to them did you reject faith after accepting it? Then taste the torment for rejecting faith. 
That's what happens when you know you're, you're gonna return black. And as for those faces that will become white, they will be in Allah's mercy. Therein so they shall dwell forever. And and it, and if not, you gonna you gonna be turned black. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying and what you're getting at, but I don't get that when I read that because I'm I'm looking at the area. Guy. I don't see that because it's talking about a whole different sense. Like you have to actually go deeper to the Arabic itself and pull out its meaning. Like yeah, the, the, Arab, the translation, the, I don't. The English translation is weak. Okay, so let me show you now the background of this. I want to. I want to show you, man. That we don't we don't make this stuff up, man. So even in the Quran, it says that people's faces will be turned white and they're going to heaven, and then people will be turned black and they're going to hell. Wow. But hey, you know, that's um, you know, you gotta you gotta dive deep into the Arabic, I guess, to really uh I mean because really parse that out, huh? I mean, it's, I mean, would you associate black with I don't have my I don't have my Arabic dictionary. I just realized that. Yeah, the word is black, you, it's I mean, black and white. Black is a, a black is associated with what? You, in the in the in the English dictionary, what you get black? You gonna see evil? You gonna see dark? I mean, it's the same thing. It's so tough. why you even call yourself black? Not in the Bible. You, so you call yourself the same thing. Not in the Bible. Like, I'm just saying, like, so why you stand with? I mean, like, let me show you. Let same. me show. Let me show you something. I know you said you don't like hadith, but I have to show you this. Come on, I have to show you this just because because we're on that you know that that part that subject there. So I have to show you this. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Do 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 do. This is tough, man. There's there's no way uh you know that I could I could be Muslim with this stuff. There's no way in the world. I mean, I couldn't be Christian at the other school. I've heard just the history part from our ancestors. I couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's really the same thing on both sides. Do you do you understand? You do you understand the difference between? Because you, I think that you actually started off explaining this. The difference between what the religion actually teaches, but and what bad people do. So both sides. Yeah. So bad people doing things in Christianity that goes against the Bible, they're not Christians. Even if they claim they are, they're not Christians. And woe to them. You can't find what they do taught in the Bible. That's my point. Yeah. So yeah, none of none of that is in none of that is in the Bible. That's the Bible is emphatically against that. But in Islam, I'm showing you that this stuff is in Islam. It's in the teachings of Islam. It's not that there's bad Muslims who are going against the religion, you know, and all that. No. They are in. This is what is taught in Islam. That's what I'm showing you. It's a huge difference. Slavery. slavery. So, uh, so, would you have if, if you could have a slave? Would you have a slave right now? If I could have a maid to clean my house, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, I, I would never have. I would never have a slave like. You have, you have a servant. I would never. I would. Yeah, I would have a servant. I would never have a. I would never have a slave where I bought them. You know, uh, based off their race. They're stolen from their home, uh, and I, I would never indulge in that. I would always condemn that, always. <laughs> yeah. So, I right, look. So look at this. Oh, you're great. It is, man. It is, man. But you know, you know, this is why. This is why. You know, I, I do this, man. You know, I was shit. This verse that say Jesus is going there, and Matthew Paul and John there. Well, you still ain't got to that. Right, I already showed you all that. You switched the goalpost on me. At first, you asked me, where in the Bible does it say Jesus is God? So I showed you. But then you was like, oh, well, no, Revelation ain't good enough. I want to oh, see in well, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John see, now. I want to see. Why he, why he wait to wait in? Why he wait 300 later to say that? <clears throat> why he wait 300 years later to say that? No, that's not 300 years later, my friend. It's not 300 years. I, I hope you don't have. You Do you think that God can't reveal things in a vision? Wait, does it does it does it matter if he says it in a vision or or? or living, wait, wait. If he if whether he says I'm the first and the last here in the flesh on earth, or if he says it when he's in heaven and gives that a revelation to John, 
what what's what's the difference? I, 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 I'm not, see, I don't, I'm not denying anything you're saying. So I just want you to back it up. Like, when you say that. I did back it up. Re Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. Yeah. All right, so watch this, man. I don't, I don't want us to get off track of this. Let's go. No, so. so this is Mishkat al-Masabi, Masabi 119. It's also translated in Jamiat Terminally and stuff like that. So this is what it says, bro. It says, Abu Dada reported, God's messenger is saying, God created Adam when he created, and God created Adam when he created him and struck his right shoulder and brought forth his offspring white like small ants. And he struck his left shoulder and brought forth his offspring black as though they were charcoal. Then he said to the party on his right side, to the white offspring, to paradise, and I do not care. And he said to the party in his left shoulder, the black ones, to hell, and I do not care. Mm -hmm. Similar to what we just saw in the Quran, this, this is talking about just straight up offspring created this way. They're created white, created black. Whites go to heaven. Black people go to hell. This is this is literally race. I'm not going. I'm not going. I mean, I'm not going to go against what you're saying right there. But like I said, at the same time, like when it comes out, first of all, the Hadith has got one name at the beginning of it. Like Hadith, like they got one name at the beginning of it. I don't even read. Period. Got, I, I got to see a chain from who that person got it from. Who is usually a chain of narration. Like nah, more just on, one name for me to even like. Then when I read that, I ain't gonna lie. I would disregard that Hadith anyway. And I had that right to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, man, this sounds like some racist ass shit. Excuse my language. This sounds like some racist ass shit that they were to put in uh sometimes. I don't know how I'm gonna look at it and disregard that. But that's not what it is. Done it through our history. It's not what it is, bro. This isn't. I didn't know that. What you mean? That's not what it is. That's, that's what I'm taking it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they done it through our history. This is Islam, bro. This is Islam. This is Islam. Yeah, it's, I, it's not. I mean, it's not racist Arabs who's trying to. And, and, and maybe it is, but this is Islam bro, at the end like, of the day. Like I would say this. It's in, uh, you can say Islam because it's in the books or whatever and it's being promoted and it's being taught because it's in our day books or people are being taught this stuff mm -hmm. but is it pure and authentic islam in its true essence no yes. it's not that's not islam because i'm gonna say that's not islam i'm like man what the f i'm gonna look at you crazy somebody tell me something I'm like, man that don't even sound right so that, that, how they don't even sound right it don't even go against not it don't even sound right first of all it's a story about something that happened at the beginning of time supposedly that nobody was there you see what i'm saying so it sounds like some Fairy tale story, anyway. That somebody said Muhammad said. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, don't even sound right. Well, this is what. Like, I, like the same conversation. Look, the same conversation. I'm telling you. This is what it I is, man. This. I would tell Muslims the same thing. I'm not. I'm not. I would tell. I would stand for a whole bunch of conversations. But thing. this is what it is, bro. Like, like th this is what I'm saying. Like, I can show you, like all. I can show you the Quran. I can show you these hadiths. What I'm showing you is that. This is in the Islamic sources. This is what is taught yeah, okay, in the yeah, Islamic right. sources. You know what I'm saying? So if they people, don't make it, Islamic. They don't make it, Islamic. it does they make, make it Islamic. Islamic. Nah, because I can put out things in, in Christian different. It depends what domin the domination won't go. No, Should if you pull if you pull out something in the Bible, if you pull out something in the Bible, that's I'm Christianity. Talking about, I'm talking about some outside the Bible, like you just put something outside the Quran that's uh 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 that's, that's being taught in Christianity. No, this, but no, this dude. Oh my goodness, the hadith. Let, let me ask: Do you believe that hadith? And and how many times a day do you pray? Uh, you get that from the hadith. You know that, right? No, you get that from Quran. It's in the Quran. It tells you time. It said the rise of the sun, the setting of the sun. It said it gives you five times. It, it gives I, you five times. Show me where it mentions five prayers. It don't say five. It says yeah, yeah, just like where it shows. Five. Yeah, show me where it's where it shows the five prayers. Hmm. 
you know, there's only so much I can do, man. I, all I can do is just show you the stuff and then, you know, you do what you, you do what you want after you can either duck your head under the sand and ignore it and say, this ain't the Islam that I know and love. Uh, so I may just ignore this stuff or you can see what Islam actually teaches, reject it and come out of that darkness. But all I can do is just show you, man. You got, you got to come out of this, man. Sorry, living. It's multiple verses. Sorry, living. 114 says, establish prayer at the two ends of the day and in the first hour of the night. How many? So is that's, giving you, that's at the beginning, they were just praying two, three times a day. Because five prayer is going to establish off the roof. So two ends of the day and at the what? Last hour of the night. First hour of the night. First hour. First hour of the night. So the evening. So the evening time. Thirty says. So thirty. Verse seventeen to eighteen says, "Glorify Allah in the evening and in the morning." That's what we just heard. No different. That refers to the morning prayer, and that refers to the afternoon prayer. No, it doesn't. It says the morning and the afternoon. That's what we just heard. And the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it says that morning, the evening, which is the first hour of the night, and at the end of the night, that's the that's the other prayer that we heard. That's still just that's still just three. No. Establish the prayers at the two ends of the day. The two ends of the day are Fajr, the morning prayer, the first prayer, and the third prayer, the fourth, the fourth prayer of MacRib, and the first uh one of the night ish. Forger, sunset, the, the dawn prayer, the sunset prayer, and the night prayer. The sunset prayer, the sunset prayer is the first hour of the night. That's the evening, a sunset. That's not the first hour. Like the first hour of night is when the night when the sun actually disappears and the redness of the sky disappears. Uh, disappears also. That's the first hour of the night. Hmm. That's sunset. Sunset and nighttime, two different things. Because the sun is still bright at sunset. Right or wrong. That's the first hour of the night, bro. It says, bear a prank and glorify him again at night. And also, it said, hold on. It says, before the sunrise and before the sunset. <sighs> before the sunrise and before the sunset. So before the sunset is what? You know, I... I Another I, I, prayer. Another prayer, right? I, hon I honestly... So that's I, the full I, prayer. I, we just had the full prayer. And we just no, had the you, prayer. no, you didn't. It's repeating itself in many different ways. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I, it's so it's Two okay, it, bro. Two my brother, it's it's, it's, it's okay. Two it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll let you have it because I this literally it like Man, it doesn't it, it, does, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter to, it doesn't matter to me at the, like when it comes to our our conversation. Like I do not want to spend time on this because you know to you be yours on that. You don't know who brought it up. You don't know who brought it up. I know, and and I see I see that we're gonna keep going through the Quran, looking at these verses that talk about the three prayers and how it repeats itself. And you're gonna you're gonna interpret it how you still want to. It's still not five, but I'm gonna let you, bro. I'm gonna let you. You got it. You got that. I want to stay focused on the issue here. Okay, the issue here is what the Quran is teaching, what the Hadiths are teaching, and the fruits that we see coming from Muhammad. What we see, one of the aspects of that that we're seeing, is racism. That's what that's what we're landing on. The black and white stuff, black people going to hell, white folks going to heaven, being turned white, being turned black, selling two black slaves for one non-black slave. We see the racism embedded in Islam from Muhammad's teachings and actions. You get what I'm saying? I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I understand what you're coming from. I understand exactly where you come from. Okay. But yeah. does it make it right? Me, I don't think... And like I said, and I'll say this again, I don't think that is pure, pure Islamic teaching in its essence. 
because the teacher Islam has always been taught before Muhammad came. The pure essence of it. Okay. So that I'm not I'm not gonna say that is that's I'm saying I'm gonna repeat this again. That's not Islamic teaching. That's okay. Islam. So then if you're saying if you're saying that the pure Islam was it was even here before Muhammad and it was the pure submission to God without racism, with love and equality and things of this nature, that, that was the pure Islam. Then Muhammad came and taught and practiced an impure Islam. Is that fair to say? No, I won't say that either. So the slavery that you're seeing from Muhammad, the teachings on black and white that you're seeing from Muhammad, you're saying you agree that that's pure Islam then? I don't I don't think that's pure that's not pure Islam. I don't think Muhammad talked to that. I think that people who had influence, people who had power, manipulated and did their thing, had their way with certain texts and certain books and certain doctrines and influenced that and put that in there. For their own reason, whatever. That's what I think. That's my belief. That's why I mean, because it don't make sense. Because that's not pretty Islamic teaching. So what I'm saying. Yeah. And for some, and for somebody to hold those for for a person, whether they Muslim or not, I think that that it, those spiritual ideas that you just showed me are true and authentic. Like I call them a fool too. I'm gonna ask you one more thing. Um. How how do you feel about uh men, grown men sleeping with little girls? Little girls, like you talking about oh man, look. I don't think and I have it, I read different sources, different age groups, and I know I which one I really forget that with young wife and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't see one said that she was nine. I see one that said she was thirteen. One said that there's not a single hadith that says she was thirteen. Not a single one. I haven't seen a I, I, I hadith said how old she was too. I just seen what people basically would guesstimate her age. Got it. So yeah, just to be clear, every hadith, so every hadith is the same. She was six or seven when he married her. Um, but it's consistent that she was nine when he consummated the marriage with her. But that's not what I really was asking you. But going on with that, what do you think about that? About Muhammad sleeping with Aisha at her, at her age? What do you think about that? I mean, the age standard is wrong, but back then, back then, that was perfectly normal for anybody of any any culture or race. And in Africa, that was normal. And in in Uganda, that was normal. Does, does it European, does it does it make normal. It's, in Arab culture that was normal? Back does then, it make it right? right does it make it right if it's normal? Okay, so, so I was standing, I was standing against it. I'm, hold on, I'm standing against it. I'm on the same side, like I would say that wrong, but I'm saying in those times that was perfect normal for everybody in every race and every culture. I disagree, but even if that was the case, yeah, that's go not true. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because that's not even the issue right now. I'm let's say that that's true. Okay. That doesn't make it right, correct? Yeah, you're right. 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 So, right. so then Muhammad is still doing something wrong, even if it's normal, right? I mean, we called it wrong now. They didn't call it wrong then. Who cares if it, if who called it wrong? It's either wrong or it's not. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody. I mean, a lot of people was in. The, then nobody speak up against it back then. There was nobody. It wasn't looked down upon back then. See what I'm saying? See now, okay. Like it's like hold on. Hold on it's like this nowadays. Like, it's either it's nowadays, wrong or it's not, bro. It's homosexuality wrong. Huh? It's homosexuality wrong. Yeah, I, well, we can't talk about that here because TikTok. Okay, all right, all right. All right. How, about this, how about this? Let's talk about this. Um, okay, fornication is wrong. What? Is fornication wrong? Yes. Okay. And fornication was wrong all the way up to the 1930s in American history. It was used to be on. It used to be a criminal punishment for fornication and adultery in America on these lands all the way up to the 1930s. Okay. Because it was deemed wrong by okay. most people. But now, me and you still look at it wrong, but in everybody else's eyes. I don't care about everybody else's eyes. Is it still wrong or not? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Me and you, bro, we right here with this. We like right here. But I'm not, like, not like, I, I need you to understand, Salam. I'm not asking about opinion. I'm asking about a, a truth. Is it a right or wrong? Is it right? Is it wrong? It's, I'm saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's wrong. I said okay. Wrong. Even if even if more people say no, it's okay. It's still wrong, right? In our eyes, yeah. In no, our no, eyes, no. I'm not asking about in our eyes. In our, in our modern eyes, 
I'm not asking. Uh, here it is again. Salam. I'm not asking about our opinion. I'm not asking about our favorite flavor of ice cream. In our eyes, in your eyes, stro strawberry is good. In my eyes, it's chocolate. It's That's it's not. Relative. Yeah, I'm not asking about is is morality relative or is it objective? Where you live. It depends how you're brought up. It depends on your environment. So you're saying that morality is re is relative. Is there yeah, ever yeah. is there ever a time where grape sleeping with someone uh, against their will? Is there ever a time in any culture where that is okay? No, that's not. I mean, you, you I agree with you 100. Well, so so even if if it was lawful in a culture. I'm back here, I'm back. Even if it even if it was if it was lawful uh, pertaining to a particular culture and time, and they was like, yeah, it's it's okay, it's it's perfectly lawful. They would that entire culture would be wrong, correct? Say <sighs> you you dealing with you talking about America right now? I'm just saying. Like, so they would be wrong, correct? I mean, yeah, I mean, in our eyes, yeah. No, would they be wrong? Yes or no? Whether let's say in my eyes it was okay. Would they be wrong, yes or no? You are, you are wrong. Okay, so regardless of if it's in my eyes, regardless of the time frame, regardless of the culture, grape, forcing yourself sexually on another human being is wrong, period. Doesn't matter the culture, doesn't matter the religion, doesn't matter the time, it's objectively wrong, regardless of our opinion. Yeah, you're right. Good. So morality is objective. It's not based on how you I feel mean, it, or I feel. The issue is since when you you talking about rape though. You talking about rape though. That, I mean, of course, anybody's gonna say that's wrong because you force somebody against their will. You take away their free will. It's not essential. Okay, so now I'm asking you this now. So now I'm asking you this for a grown man. Listen, Salam. Mm -hmm. Let's translate now this issue for a grown man to have sexual relations with a child. Is that ever okay? Not to me, no. So then Muhammad was wrong when he did it, correct? I mean, if that was the case, was, was he wrong when he did it? And why did nobody else speak up on it? Why okay, that's else just else an argument of silence. We don't know if people did it. Just answer the question. Because was, it was a norm. I, I told you, I gave you my answer. I gave you my answer. So Muhammad was wrong. Because in our eyes, that's wrong. Because now, if we would have grew up in that culture, we wouldn't be saying it wrong. Though. Is it, what, does that make it okay? Why are we Why are we backtracking? Does that make it okay? If you lived If you lived in that time, if you lived in that time, and it was normal in your culture, does that make it okay for a grown man to sleep with a kid? It was normal. It was normal in Jesus' time to kill kids who disrespected. Can you answer the question? No, that's not about kids. It's about that's about uh, young adults who understand the law, who know right from wrong. It's not about kids. So now, cause, but still, but please stop trying to change it. Stop trying to change it. Salam, salam. Now you're now you're running from the issue now. No, I'm not. I tell you, I say yes is wrong. I say yes is wrong. So then Muhammad was wrong when he did it, correct? So wait, so Muhammad was wrong when he did it, correct? I said yes. I said yes is wrong, and I said yes. I mean, what you? What, 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 I just need to hear. So when you say yes, I'm I'm trying to be clear because I don't want to misrepresent you. Muhammad was wrong when he slept with the child Aisha, correct? If that happened, if that happened, if that happened, if it did happen, yes. Well, that that's what the that's what you know. That's what the text says. That's so it did happen. I mean, I just see, I just, I just see multiple words. I, I, it's, no, it's the debate about the age. There's no debate about, the, the, age. Debate about the age. There's no it's debate the, about the age. Because nobody was there. Okay, let, nobody let's, nobody see, was let, let's see. Let's see. We weren't there. Man, you weren't there. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. We were in a book. We weren't there. I hear you. Let's let's see if there was a debate about the age. You're right. Let's see if there was a debate about the age. Let's see. Let's see if we find one source that says she wasn't nine when he slept with her. Let's just see. Okay, here's the first source, Sahih Bukhari. Here's the first source. Narrated, oh, shoot, this is narrated by Aisha herself. You, do you think that she knew her own age or no? Do you think that she knew her own age? Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Aisha, she's... The prophet married her when she was six years old. 
and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. That's one thing. Okay, she narrated her. Why is talking to the second person? You know what I'm saying? It's talking to the second person, but she narrated her. Well, third narrated person. Do you do you to do you want it in first person? I can get it for you in first person. I'm saying, I'm saying that's the second person. Here's another one. Sayyid Bukhari 5158. The prophet narrated aura. The prophet wrote the uh the marriage contract with Aisha while she was six years old and consummated the, his marriage with her when she was nine. And she remained with him for nine years. That's one of the companions. Good. Because you just named one person, bro. It's like, who is that person? All right, here it goes again. Sahih Bukhari is another one. What do you mean weak? This is Sahih. Bro, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm saying weak in my my translation, like weak, like bro. That's some like some BS, like Every, so no, like notice that, so. notice how each all right. Here's Aisha here. You wanted first person. Here's Aisha. Narrated Aisha, the messenger of Allah, married me when I was seven years old. The narrator Suleiman said, or six years, he had intercourse with me when I was nine years old. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all in the comments, bro. Ain't nobody paying attention to y'all. Me and bro on a whole different level right now. Yeah, just yeah, just fo just focus on me. Forget the comment section. Do you see how Aisha's speaking in, in first person now? So she says that he consummated the marriage. He had he had intercourse. Excuse me. She says he had intercourse with me when I was nine years old. Wow, wow, wow! Did she was she bleeding then? No. Because back then, if a person was bleeding, they, 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 they would have sex. That's everybody. That's bro, you, you, you think? Do you think this? this do you think this is okay, bro? I don't think it's okay. I'm not gonna do what? it. I'm not Look at all these, all of these sources are saying the exact same. There's no difference. All of them are saying she was nine years old when he had sex with her, bro. Every single one is saying the same thing. Watch this. Oh, this one is good. Sahih Muslim, this is authentic, 1422C. It says, Aisha, Allah be pleased with her, reported that Allah's apostle married her when she was seven years old and he was taken to and he was taken to his house oh she was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine years old when he slept with her and her dolls were with her and when he died she was 18 years old you think she was an adult playing with dolls at nine bro she was playing with dolls bro That doesn't make a person an adult, like, man. Like, we think adult, I'm saying, like, if, if, yeah, if she if she bleeds, she breeds, huh? If she bleeds, she breeds. No, it wasn't, bro. Who cares about what other people were doing? We're talking about a prophet. Good. So the prophet was wrong. So, so guess what? I, I got you. I got you. Now, now let me ask you this, bro. Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Because you know that this is still going on in certain countries, right? In certain Islamic countries. Right. So if, right. So for, so for these people, Salam, for these people, the Muslims who do this, they have a basis for doing it, right? Because their prophet did it. So they're as so as Muslims, they're saying, "Well, this is this is okay in Islam. It's okay to do this. Our prophet did it. He's the best example. Our prophet did it, so this is okay." So, so you drink wine? So you drink alcohol? You drink? Yeah, I drink alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Why? Wow, because Jesus turned water to wine. Jesus turned water to wine. Jesus drank. It's all of that. All right. Okay. Well, so so now so don't, don't let's not run away from the issue. Okay, okay. So in Islam, it is okay to sleep with young girls. This is taught in Islam because your prophet, these are the fruits of your prophet, bro. All right, no, you know what? I'm gonna ask somebody about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me a survey of people who, who, who sleep with a nine year old, Muslim. So I'm gonna go ask a whole bunch of Muslims this weekend when they sleep with a nine year old. I'm gonna get their answers. I'm gonna come back with you. You see what I'm saying? 
Cause that's a, that's an interesting interesting topic though. That's an interesting topic. I'm gonna go ask some people. Like I'm gonna go ask some people. This out the blue about that. Now, sure. Now, do you want to see that the Quran actually teaches and says this is okay too? Yeah, come on, please, 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 please. I got you. Remember, you said, well, you know, they were doing it. Um, they were doing it before they, before like when they, when they hit puberty. You know, that's you know they they were seen as adults, I mean, right? I mean, that's how, you know. I'm gonna show you that the Quran taught that it was okay even before they hit puberty. That's what I'm gonna show you. That's what I'm going to show you, bro. And if you stay in the religion after this, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> if, you, if you still rocking with Muhammad after this, man. I... <laughs> okay. Okay, let me just see if I can zoom in on this real quick. Let's see if I can zoom in. Hold on, man. If you stay after this, man, there's a problem, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. There's a problem. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me, uh, that's not how I want it. Okay. This is the best we, I'm going to get. I'm gonna hold it close so you can see it. I'll just see it. Oh, you see it? Okay, for, for, for sure, for sure. All right. So this is talking about divorce. This is chapter 65, verse 4. Literally, the chapter is called, you know, it's called talak, which means divorce in Arabic. Okay. So this is what it says here in verse 4. It's teaching you how to divorce three categories of females. Okay. It says, and those of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the idda, the prescribed period, if you have doubt, is three months. Now, let me slow down. When it says the idda, the prescribed period, that's a waiting period that a woman has to wait um, before she can move on to the next man. Yeah. Okay? It's to make sure she's not pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they're checking, like, you know, for a woman who's past her menstruation, like she's menopause, she's past her, the age of monthly courses, so she doesn't get periods, and you you know you slept with her, she was your wife, you're divorcing her, but and you're unsure she might be pregnant, she ain't, she's not getting periods to let you know, then her waiting period is three months to make sure she's not pregnant. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's move on. So yeah. So <clears throat> her waiting period is three months, and for those. Who have no courses, their periods. Now, the commentator here says, i.e., they are still immature. So the understanding is they're divorcing, you know, it says they have no courses. These are obviously they haven't had periods yet. That's what it says. For those who have not had they who have no courses, they haven't had periods yet. They're divorcing girls who haven't had their periods. Their idda, their waiting period. Before they can move on to the next man is also three months, like the woman in menopause. Okay. Now, and it says here, and for those who are pregnant, their idda is until they lay down their burden, right? That's obviously until they give birth. And whoever fears Allah and keeps his duty to him, he will make his matter easy for him. Now, I don't have no problem with the third woman, the pregnant woman. I have no problem with the older one. My problem is category number two. The females, they're divorcing who have not had their periods. The ones who are immature. I see what you're saying. Now, it gets worse. Because I want you to realize this. Because we're not just talking about marriage contracts. Oh, they married them, but they didn't. Maybe they didn't consummate the marriage. Nah. The fact that they have a waiting period, right? Remember, the waiting period is to make sure she's not pregnant. So the fact that the little girl who's being divorced has a waiting period means that her husband slept with her. That's why she has a waiting period. Because they're trying to make sure she's not pregnant. 
Let me show you that the Quran actually says this. The Quran literally actually has a verse that says this. That there is, if there is no, uh, if you haven't touched her, she has no idda. There is no idda. No hitta? I know what you're talking about. Yep. So you already know. But let, let me just, uh, just for those who maybe, you know, thinking I'm yeah, lying or something like that for them. <clears throat> uh, am I tripping? Oh, it's 49, my bad. There we go. So this is chapter 33, verse 49 of the Quran, guys. Chapter 33, verse 49 of the Quran. It says, O oh, you who believe, when you marry, oh, let me fix this. When you marry believing women and then divorce them before you have sexual intercourse with them, no idda have you to count for them. Now, look, it even, like, you know, the, the, the commentator even puts in the verse we just came from, 65.4. <laughs> like, it puts that in. They, these two verses go together. So there is no idda, there is no waiting period if you ain't hitta. No hitta, no idda. So the reason why those little girls who have not had their periods, who have not reached puberty, have an idda is because their husbands hitta. They smashed. This is. I get it. I am not. I, like, I'm not gonna disagree with nothing. Just, you know what I'm saying? That I yeah. can't disagree with. Yeah. But if I can disagree with them, I mean. Yeah. I, I give you that. So, bro. From what from what we seeing, I give you that. Now, if if it's saying what it's saying, like I give it. I ain't I'm not saying. I give you that. One. You so. Get that one, so. So if you still but let's get back on top. No. <laughs> let's get back on top of this I picked on this anyway. No, this is the topic. <laughs> this no. this is the topic. No, 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 bro. This is <laughs> you ain't... You ain't about to is Jesus God your way out of this one, man. <laughs> he trying to is Jesus God your way out of it. <laughs> Salah, bro, you are funny, man. That's what. Hold on, since you gave me that one, since you gave me that one, now I took that on chin. Bro, I took that one on chin. I don't, I don't I'm gonna do like this, man. Hold on, now. Okay. What? Luke eighteen, eighteen. That's why I won't go for you. That's fine and all. But look, before we go to the Bible, and I want to, because I want to be fair. I want you to bring up your objections to the Bible and, and deal with it, because you're you're dealing with Islam. I'll, I want to deal with the Bible. So we'll do that. But first, I got to hear you, man. <laughs> What's up, bro? I got to hear you, man. What's up? So with, with this being and what you consider the word of God, and you know that this is wrong, you know that this can't be from God, right? I mean, I'm going to say this in all confidence, bro. With the Bible and the Quran, bro, through our history, bro, I know that man had played a part in the original, uh, in, how do I say this? Twisting up and messing with the originality of both texts, bro. So I don't know. I'm not saying, look, I'm a little, that right there was kind of like, man, hold on, no man. So I don't know, like, I mean, I, I took that one chin, bro. <laughs> I don't want you to just take it out the, on the chin. <laughs> I'm going to be, 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 so that, that, I I don't just want you to take it on the chin, man. Like this is this, this you know if you watch me, bro. I don't I don't do this for got you points. I I don't care about that. Yeah, 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 I yeah. care about truth and understanding. I don't I don't want you to just be like, yeah, you know what, you got me on this. I want you to have the conviction and understanding that this 
cannot possibly be the word of God. It can't. Okay. Not teaching this stuff. Remember, we were talking about the fruits. What would what did we go over? The consistency. Muhammad is not in line with how God reveals his message, with how the angels and God reveal come experience prophets, you know, come to the prophets, different from how Muhammad. I ain't trying to cut you off. I'm getting a call right now. I gotta go. I gotta go for real. You better eat. Oh, man. I'm breathing down to the cross of all these right now. Man. <laughs> man. 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 <laughs> bro, leave this religion. Get out of there, man. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna be back over here, bro. We'll miss you because I'm bro. I gotta go right now. So. All right. Peace, bro. Appreciate it, bro. All right, peace, peace. What y'all what y'all what 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 y'all think about that, man? Y'all tell me what what y'all think about about this? What y'all think, man? Woo! What y'all think about this? You know, I I I I just I just pray. Even if I don't talk to him again, I pray that the Holy Spirit pricks at his heart, man. And I mean, I mean, tug on it. I mean, I pray that the Holy Spirit, you know, doesn't allow him to sleep comfortably and convicts him, convicts him of the truth of Christ and the falsehood of, of, of Islam. That's, that's my prayer, man. He got out of here. He's, you know, said he had a call. He said he had a call. He got out of here before we can drive and twist that nail. Just in case you listen, Islam, I'm gonna. We gonna drive that nail in, man. We gonna drive that nail in. And I pray that the Holy Spirit, with the power of Christ, convicts you, man, to come out of this religion and to come to Christ. That's our hope. His name is Salam for my prayer warriors out there. For those who be in the trenches praying midnight morning, his name is Salam. That's how, that's what he goes by on here. So when you pray, add Salam to your prayers that God convicts him that he convicts him, that he grabs hold of his heart and convicts it and transforms him. That he comes out of Islam and realizes the darkness of this religion and the light of Christ. That's our hope. That's our hope. Um, I think that's good enough. Two hours and 18 minutes. It's 9.33. I think that's good enough. What do you guys think? You think we should do one more? Where are my moderators at? My moderators here? Let's start a poll. I got, I, I, I got one more in me, but, you know, I don't have to. I got one more in me. We're at a good time, too. YouTube is saying one more. Ain't no mods in the house. Y'all fired, man. Y'all fired. Y'all fired. Y'all fired. You hear me? Y'all fired, man. All right, we could do one more.
Let's see what we got. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. There's over a thousand people on YouTube. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. All right. If you oh, forgot to, man. make sure you... it's about time. I've been in here for like 10, 15 times, bro. Welcome. So what you saying, sir? I said welcome. Welcome to the stage. Thanks. Salam alaikum. Well, I like it's best to be up on you. Even though your your tongue's a little bit filthy tonight. Why do you say that? Well, just like I don't like the way that you'll be building up conversations and ending up yelling and being mocking people coming in here. Like this last guy, Salam, he was having a he, he was literally having a having a like a laugh in here with you. It's all good though. Isn't isn't that a good thing that 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 I can get Muslims to laugh with me? Bro, I've I've been seeing you. Wait, wait, isn't isn't that a good thing to get Muslims to be able to laugh with me? Bro, that's not my uh, that's not my discussion. That's not my discussion. I'm just saying, like the last guy who was up here laughing, but before them, like he was just mocking people. Yeah, what what did I say that was mocking people? What did I say? Like, bro, you be you be going up in in tones with people, you know. But like, just for just for just for maybe saying you don't have an ex- you don't have like, an example. I'm, I'm not from no English speaking country, so you have to be like, uh, what can I say? You don't you don't have an example of uh, me mocking someone and being filthy. Like, bro, I'm I'm just talking in general when you be having people up in here. Like, some people be be, be coming in here also. Mocking you, I get that. But like sometimes you just be your tone ain't right. Do you do you believe that uh mocking is is wrong? Of course, of course it's wrong. Do you we think are, that do you think no it's human being is in a position mocking nobody? Do you think that uh do you think that it would be um it'll be wrong if like you guys came up and because you guys believe differently than me, that I called you the worst of creatures because of it? Like calling people the worst of creatures. Yeah. Like, you think, would, would you, be having you knowing them personally. Yeah, but well, no, no. But yeah, what if I'm just saying because you disbelieve? What you because can't call me worst of creation? No, I'm, I'm saying because because you believe different from me, because you believe different from me, I'm calling you the worst of creatures. Do you think that that's like mocking and good to say, or do you think that's, that's disrespectful? All wrong to say. That's all wrong to say. Okay. Well, the Quran teaches that. The Quran says that about me. The Quran says what about you? It says that I'm because I disbelieve because I don't believe in Islam. I'm the worst. The Quran of, says I'm the worst the of Quran creatures. Says you have your religion and we have our religion. Nope. That's what the Quran says. Nope. Chapter yeah. ninety-eight, verse six. Go to go. You do have you have religion. a Quran on you? Do you have a Quran on you? Oh, you're going to it. Just to let you know, when you're paused, I can't hear you, but you, I know you can hear me. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I only have it digitally. I don't it's have okay. It, uh, in hand. Well, I, well, I have it. It's uh, chapter ninety-eight, verse six. It says, okay. "Verily, those." Give me just a second, just to. I'm, 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 go, I'm gonna go get my computer so I don't like. Uh, sure, yeah, go ahead. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. All right, we got a super chat. It says, "Yes, let's pray that the Holy Spirit convicts him of his sin, and that he will see the truth." And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. John chapter 8, verse 32. Amen. Who the How Son sets free is free indeed. The truth are gonna set you free. Who the Son sets oh, free man. is free indeed. Amen to that. Make sure you guys hit the like button on YouTube. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button on YouTube. Guys, hit the like button. One verse, bro. Chapter 98, verse 6. Make sure you guys hit that like button. If you haven't done it already, hit chapter it. Like, 96 verse chapter 98. 98. Yeah, Berg. What verse you said? Verse 6, man. All right, then let's go. Those who disbelieve among the people of the scripture and the idolates will obey in fire of hell. So, aren't uh, the Bible and the Torah? Can you the finish? Quran, can you finish the, the verse, scripture? please? Can you please finish the verse? Well, then I'm gonna have to go get the whole verse. Well, 
But just, uh, just, uh, just to state it, I'm a Shia, so Sahih Bukhari and Muslim for me is in the trash. No just worries. So you know. How do you feel about Aisha? Well, uh, from my uh, source of knowledge, she was uh, four years younger than the Prophet's daughter, Fatima, which makes her 12 years old when coming to the Prophet and marrying the Prophet. Now, how do you feel about Aisha as a person? Well, Aisha, after the Prophet departed from, uh, from dunya, from this world, mm. she actually went and... Uh, she actually went and she had a war against his uh, his brother, his cousin, what? his closest friend, Imam Ali. Okay. Was that a good war or a bad one? It, of course, a bad war. The Prophet said, you to me, Ali, are like Harun to Musa. I like Aaron to Moses. Except there is no Prophet after me. So that puts him in a level above everybody because we all know the the relationship between moses and Aaron. so when aisha goes against him she's really going against she's Muhammad? going against the prophet oh wow interesting yeah but but we we have god i only know him in um, in arabic but we have a prophet called Lut. i don't, I don't know if you heard about him Maybe I can try and bring him up in a translation. No, that's okay. Do you have the? Can you like read the bottom of the verse? Because you gotta, you had the verse. I just want you to finish reading ninety-eight six. Yep. So, Aisha was not that great of a person. That's interesting. It is. It is. But we have uh, other prophets which uh, which had wives who wasn't perfect or uh, and, uh, or like. Uh, what can I say? One of the heaven, heavenly people, you can say whatever. Got it. Yeah. All right. Bro, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I have to go find another app. Maybe. I, I don't understand it. It, it, it didn't. The app that you're using. It didn't have the full verse. No, it was just uh, on Google. Got it. So I'll, I'll just, I'll just finish it. So it says, 68. so it says from among them, right? The people of the book and the idolaters, their abode is the hellfire. They are the worst of creatures. But you're also people of the script. Yeah, exactly. And I disbelieve. So I'm the worst of creatures simply you because I, bro, I disbelieve. Because you're not having the right facts. Well, I'm the worst of creatures. So do you think that you said that this you're is, the worst of creatures you said, you said, you said that, God's wait, message. excuse me. You said it's not okay to say this to someone that they are the worst of creatures simply because they don't believe the same thing you do well your quran does that your quran mocks me because i don't believe what is well, in islam bro, to be honest to be honest i don't think the quran is mocking you i think you're mocking yourself because you're not getting the facts right right to be honest so so you. when i got because you so when if, i when if, I say the same thing no no it's, it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay so say the same thing when when i when you accuse me of mocking the people that come up the muslims mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. it's not that i'm mocking they are mocking themselves for not having the facts well maybe like this guy salam coming up here just letting you be his ass up and what like, you mean me and salam was having a good time yeah, of course, but, and, I, and, I, and I like people having a good time, but like this is a grown man talk. This is not uh, having a laugh because yes, it I is. respect Jesus a lot in the same way I respect uh, Muhammad a lot. So, what Allah, alayhi wa alayhi. We can have a laugh. So, we can have a laugh, have man. Laugh. Why so serious? Because, bro, like this ain't to be played with. Do you think? Do you think that the, that the day of judgment judgment is going to be all laughing and having fun? For me, it is. Well, not for you. Then you have to go read your Bible, bro. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna have a great time on Judgment Day. I don't, I don't believe the Holy Spirit, for example. On Judgment Day, I'm gonna be sitting next to Christ, like, yeah. Let's hope, let's hope that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be hoping that so you so for 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 those on on my team, those who rock with Yeshua Akbar, Yeshua Hamashiach, those who rock with him, see, see, it's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a party on Judgment Day. You hear me? 
I'm gonna get my crown. I'm gonna have my jewels in my crown. I'm gonna have my seat. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. You talking over me, man? Hold on. I'm gonna have my seat. I'm gonna have my crown. Meet up, please. Hold on. I'm talking, bro. I'm gonna have my crown. I'm gonna have my smiles. I'm gonna see my brothers and sisters. We're gonna be dapping it up. It's gonna be a great time, man. I mean, bro. I mean, bro. Yeah. I hope that for you. Thank you. I, for you. I hope the same thing for you too, man. That's why I'm telling you to come to Christ. Thanks, bro. Thanks. So let's go. Come to Christ, man. Come to Christ. You could join I, me. I love Christ just as much as I love my prophet. Because in my belief, we don't um we don't put nobody above anyone. They're all the same. They're all the prophets of God. And that's in the Quran too. Okay. لا نفرق بين أحد من رسوله. All right. That's in the Quran too. Why do you believe Islam is true, bro? So, give me one big reason. That Islam is true. Yeah. Like just, uh, just the same with uh, why Jesus is uh, his message is also true. Okay. So, give me that reason. Why do you believe that the that Islam? Because is true. These people, these people, Jesus, Moses, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi, may peace and blessing, may God's peace and blessing be upon all of them, all of them. Ain't one of them who didn't have enemies. There is not one of them. That didn't have There's any what? Enemies. Enemies. They didn't. Yeah. Ha they didn't have enemies. I'm saying. I'm exactly saying everybody, every single one of them had enemies. Oh, all of them had every enemies. Every single okay. one of them had people trying to bring them down, trying to ruin their message, trying to make sure that people aren't following the right path. You agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. So every single prophet had his message, all right? And these messages aren't, uh, what can we say? Uh, like childish play or just uh, for fun or just like uh, to control people in in any certain way i truly believe it's the word of god just like so wait, wait. came and he preached do you believe that do you believe that the book of mormon is also the word of god too i believe in the torah i believe in the bible the real the real torah and what, the about, what about what about what about the book of mormon i asked about the book of mormon do you I know no no mormon brother you don't know what that is no. Oh, well, there was this this guy named Joseph Smith who uh, well, came and he Joseph claimed to Smith, be a prophet. To me, sounds like Will Smith. Can we stay? On I know. Jesus yeah, yeah. Just one that? one second, please. Don't cut me off. So Go Joseph ahead. Smith claimed to be a prophet um, mm -hmm. and claimed to receive revelation from God and from Jesus and from angels, um, mm -hmm. and can claim to have this revelation of a book called the Book of Mormon. And he had, he, and he had, he had enemies. He had enemies and people to go against him and try to out him and try to stop him and stuff like that. So well, wouldn't that make him? Wouldn't that make him a true prophet too? Yeah. Um. Uh, just a simple question: Was he before or after the Prophet Muhammad? He was after Muhammad. Okay. So then no. Why not? He he fit the criteria. In my religion, there was one hundred and twenty-four thousand. Uh, persons who had like a relationship with God mm -hmm. and the first one of them being Adam the last one of them being Muhammad mm -hmm. so from my perspective there is no prophet after Muhammad what about messengers messengers prophets it doesn't matter where, 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 study, where does the Quran yeah. say that wait so does the Quran say that Muhammad is the last messenger we can look that up for sure let's see that I want to see that because you believe that prophets and messengers are, are different, right? Huh? You believe that prophets and messengers, that those are two different things, right? Well, can you define a prophet and messenger? Well, I'm asking. If, like, or do you see them as the same? Because when I talk to Muslims, they usually make a distinction between the two. Which distinguish? Like, like a prophet is one like basically who warns and stuff like that. A messenger is one who brings a book. Well, wouldn't you say that Jesus also warned people? Yeah, so he was both. No, Jesus, there, there's there's some there's some messengers that were you know well messengers are prophets, but not all prophets are messengers. They say so, mm -hmm. like not all prophets brought a book, but prophets that did have a book, they're they they are also called messengers. They say that's what they told me. So the prophet, the prophet Muhammad, also warned just as he 
preached a message. Yeah, so he is a prophet and a messenger. My my question to you is: Do you do you acknowledge a distinction? Like, a, do you believe that there's a difference between a prophet and a messenger? Like he was, he was uh, just a, just as we said, he was um, he was uh, he was preaching a message and he was trying to get people. No, but you don't. On the right path. I don't think so you understand. Also, I'm not. I'm not asking about Muhammad. I'm just asking if you simply see a difference between what a prophet is and what a, and what a messenger is. Is there a difference to you, or are they both as, the same as thing? As good as my English are, I wouldn't say that they were. There are. Okay, so they're the same thing to you. I would believe so. Okay, no worries. I'll, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. They're the same yeah. thing. Okay, so so. What, 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 no, just a second. Yeah. What you mean you will go with me? Does that mean that you have some other facts you wanna bring on the table? Or not really? I mean, like like I told you, I, like I, like I said, I I talk to other Muslims who say that there is a difference between what a prophet is and what a messenger is. That's Different. so. You have so, to understand also saying. one thing because like there is a lot. Of, I, I, we, you don't, of bro, brother, brother. You don't. Islam. You don't have to explain anything. We're just. I'm just saying that you don't got to ex over explain stuff. So let's move on. So <clears throat> Joseph Smith meets the criteria that you gave me of why Islam is true and why you believe Muhammad is a prophet is because so Muhammad had enemies and people going against him and against his message, just like the previous prophets. Joseph Smith has the same story. Okay. okay. So so then he should also can be a prophet. King, we can do the same. You and me, we can we can we can uh, in in English what is it? We can repent to the message that we believe in. We can preach to the message that we believe in. We can make sure that people not make sure because it's it's impossible. Jesus couldn't do it. Moses couldn't do it. Muhammad could. There has to be. What I'm saying is there has to be a better reason why you're saying Islam is true. That can't be the reason because if that's the case, then Joseph Smith is a true prophet by by so, that logic. We, we so I need I need a I need a I need a better reason why Islam is true. Okay, so we can look into what Christianity are preaching. We can look into what the Torah is preaching, and we can look into what Islam is preaching. And we would find the same criteria. Turn no, the other cheek. No, no, you won't. You know, one, two, three. No, four, you, five. no, you won't. You, you don't find turn the other cheek in Islam. That doesn't exist. What you mean doesn't exist? Turning the other cheek you know, is not you know an Islamic teaching. Prophet, okay, okay. Do you know that the prophet's family, peace and blessing be upon them, every single one of them, either was killed, poisoned, thrown in jail. And they didn't do nothing. What What does that have to do with how if Islam is true the or not? The grandson, the grandson of the prophet. No, my my friend, I, I I seriously, I don't need a no, history no, lesson on on no, the companions no, no, or anything. I need what to you know call your reason why you Muhammad is why Islam is true. Bro, um, yeah, I'm I'm saying, so, no, no, we just stepped on turn the other cheek. So I'm telling you. Can you show me that in the Quran? Family, the prophet's family got slaughtered. Not doing anything back. Can you show me in the Quran where it teaches as a principle to turn the other cheek? Bro, you have to understand, Islam is a way of life. Yeah, is that way of life taught in the Quran or no? What you mean, sir? Is Islam taught in the Quran? Of course it is. So can you show me in the Quran where it gives this principle to turn the other cheek? I'll try Just, uh, just as I'm finding it, I have a question for you. Please, I want you to focus. All right, let's 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 take this first then. Shuba doop da ba da dooba doop da ba da da do da. Shuba doop da ba da dooba doop da ba da da do da. You should be a singer. Not up in here doing all the type of shit. Shoo ba doop da ba da doop ba doop da ba da da do na. Shoo da dee do. I never been looking into religion on my computer, so you have to be a little bit patient with me. If that's okay. 
<laughs> Katie. What's <laughs> I'll be looking to. Believe, keep your duty to Allah and speak straight, true words. Holy Quran 33, verse 70. Oh, you who believe, keep your duty to Allah and be with the truthful people. 9, verse 119. So we don't have it. None of those Which verses say it. We don't have what? Start the poll. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm talking to the audience, to my moderators. Start the poll. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going to start the recording? No, no, no. It's already recording. I'm telling them to start the poll. I right, then, brother. So. All right. Everybody, everybody vote at the top. <clears throat> yep, John. You got it. You got it, John. <laughs> you got it. You good, bro? Nah, man, I'm not good. I'm not good. Pardon people and overlook their faults. Don't you love that Allah should forgive you? 24, verse 22. 20 seconds, everybody, at the top corner. Go ahead and vote. The duty for all, those who restrain their anger and pardon people. Allah loves those who do good to others. Surah 3. Verse 100. Nothing about turning the cheek. 34. Whenever they, the true believers, are angry, they forgive. I'm All up right. in here, angry about the way you speak, but I'm supposed to still talking to you in a great manner. All right. So we have the poll here. So they, they did a poll voting on whether or not you should stay in the live. Yes, sir. And they voted that you do not stay in the live. So what do you think, bro? We're having a conversation, you and me. You just asked I, me to I bring about Tony I don't, the other cheek. I don't, I don't and I that, gave you three. I don't one. think that our conversation is going anywhere. The verses that you gave me say nothing about turning the other bro, cheek. 20, okay, so, so go, and go so, in and find it. 24. Re, so respectfully, re, respectfully, I'm going to go ahead and move on, okay? Oh, bro, that's, that's no respect, bro. To be honest, I'll be looking at your life for hours, for no, days, no. and you're doing this. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, it's up to you. Unfortunately, not everybody is made for this, you know. Unfortunately, not everyone is able to have such discussions, you know. Not able to comprehend and follow the point. You know what I'm saying? You know, honestly, it could have been a language barrier, maybe. But, uh, you know, maybe he can find a Christian live where, like, they speak his native tongue. Because it seems like we were not. We were kind of talking past each other. He wasn't really understanding or something. You know, so it could be a language barrier. You know. Um, God bless you as well, Cardfish. God bless you as well. Uh, I'm not going to count that one. That one doesn't count. Abdul Rashid, how are you? How's it going? What's your subject on live today? My subject on the live today? Yeah. Um, that Christianity is true. I mean, at some point it was true, but now, I mean, in the Quran and the Bible, if we look at both, they all, I mean, Jesus was a Holy Spirit. In the Quran, it says clearly that it was a word of God, okay? But again, that word came down through Gabriel. So really? It, yeah, I mean, God sent Gabriel, and it says that's what it says in the Quran. Those things were changed in the Bible. Jew changed those things because Jew believes that Zachariah was son of God, and the Christian. Then that, that's when they had uh, the debate with with the Christians because back in Abraham days.
You were just, there wasn't just, no Christianity. I don't mean to cut you off. You you said the Jew they the Jews changed the scripture and put in that Zechariah was the son of was the son of God. Yeah, because that's so, so in the in the so basically in the corrupted book that we have today, it would say that Zechariah is the son of God in the Jewish book. In the Jewish book, yeah. Can you show me that verse? Because that would be the Torah, right? So in the Torah, right, in I the mean, Old I'm Testament. I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Jew. That's what it says in the Quran. That, But if we confront the Quran to the Pope, the Pope will accept it. That is the word of God. He won't deny it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's, that's, not what, that's not the issue here. You, you said uh, that the Jews changed their book, changed the Bible, changed the book, to say right. that the gospel is a, is a yeah to, to say that Zechariah is the son of God that they changed it to say that yeah, was that, yeah, was so that, you know, so I should see that in in the in the Bible today I should see that in the, not in the Bible in their book what what the is Bible their book what 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 is their book Torah yeah that's what I have in my Bible you don't have that in your Bible Bible was actually Torah was given to Moses how do you know that. Bible, how do I know that? Mm -hmm. Because Moses was given a Torah. How do you know that? But Just repeating it is not telling me how you know that. How do you know that Moses was given a Torah? That's what it says in the Quran. Where? In Surah Baqarah. No, it doesn't. Yeah, God gave Torah Moses to book to Moses. Yeah, and, yeah. Allah gave. It says he gave him a book. It doesn't say that he gave him the Torah. How do you know that? The, how do you know that he was given the Torah though? He says he was given a Torah. Show me. That's what I want to see. Show me where it says he was given the Torah. Uh, so we, we're talking on scripture on scripture now? Yeah, absolutely. Well, see, I've read it, so I'm telling you from what I've read. But if we go you to haven't, scripture, You haven't read this, bro. You haven't read this because it doesn't exist. Brother, <laughs> I, I did a deep research, research in this because... My life story and everything I've been through, through anxiety, all, all that PTSD stuff. So I had to research something about God. Time out. By the way, I want to know, I want everybody to know why I'm doing this. The reason why I'm challenging him on what seems to be a petty question is because he said that the Bible that we have today is not, is not the word of God. It's been corrupted. It's been changed. And the Torah that I have in my Bible is not the real Torah that was given to Moses. So he's neglecting my Bible. My point is, is that he's stealing information from the Bible while at the same time saying that the Bible is corrupt. For him to know that Moses received what is called a Torah, he's that's in the Bible. It's not in the Quran, but he thinks it's in the Quran. So let's see him show it. I'm showing him that he needs my Bible, even though he's saying it's corrupt. No, I mean, I read a Bible. Good. And but you said the Bible's so, corrupt, so, so forget not, the Bible. Not, not, not like the way... Me what you under you would understand i do believe jesus with the holy spirit and god says in, in in the quran that if he wants to be in the body of a flesh he can be in it and all he has to say be and it is so the thing is i'm not deb debating on what yeah that's that's what it is saying in the quran so i do believe that is what it says in the quran that's good but <laughs> that you know what you're you're the first uh man somebody like you know give him a rose or something that's that's good. You know, you know, a lot of Muslims won't admit that the Quran says that that Jesus is the word of God and the, and the spirit from God that that he sends down. And, and if he wants him to come in flesh and take on flesh, he could if he wanted to do that. See, like a lot of people, they they come and then they, they be disrespecting Jesus. OK, if, if he's not God, you don't accept him as God. At the end, we're all one with God. Whether you are, you believe it, you don't believe it. We're, we're all one. You're a Muslim. All, I'm Muslim, yes. You sure? Yeah, positive. Did I pay you to come on here? <laughs> Muslim means submit to the will of God. Did bro. Did I give you any money to come on to come on here and do this and talk no, about? No, no, you didn't. Did I text you or message you of what to say? Why would you message what? First of all, you know, just, I just, just came across your life. I do okay. respect Christianity. I have brothers, Christianity, Jews. You know, we ne we never debate on that. We we all understand on how but a lot of people that don't understand we're all one yeah you can there's some some stuff weak hadith that
that can convert your mind to totally an evil thing. Mm. There is a strong hadith which which guides you. Towards strong hadith mind. can do that also. Strong hadith can corrupt your mind too. Do you know that? But nah, but but see, you have to know who right right now. You have to know where you get your source from. You can't just grab your information from anywhere. So right. What if it, what if I'm grabbing it from like Sahih Bukhari? You can, but we, even there, you have to pick and choose. Mm. You know, mm. that's th that's that's how I do it because right, that, right. Not, not just you. All of you do it. All of you pick not, and choose but, in but Islam. Listen to this. You cannot live on the past life of what they were doing things according to how we live now. Okay, you know. So show me. So show me that uh, that Moses was given the Torah. Let's get back to that. I'm, okay, let's get back to that. You sure you're Muslim? Yes, I am Muslim. Let me hear you say your shahada really quick, if you can. Come on, buddy. You know, we're here having debate. Are you trying to convert me to Islam? What is No, it? you're already in Islam. I just want you to say your shahada so I can hear you. Why would you want me to say my shahada? Because I don't I'm, I, I'm doubting that you're a Muslim. Well, you can doubt whatever you want, you know, but we're talking here on we're de we're basically having a debate and the debate We are not debating. This ain't no debate. No, but listen, it's not like a debate, debate, but it's, you know. We're, we're not even, we're not even like. We're seeking the truth. We're, we're not even, you know. We're listen. seeking the truth. Let's put it this way. Can you say your shahada? Yeah, but why you, Why you want me to say my shahada? It'll, it'll make me feel secure in continuing this conversation with knowing that you're a Muslim. Like a real, real Muslim. It's just for my sanity, bro. Bro, I told you, Islam means submit to the will of God. And accept the day of judgment, accept the angels, accept the prophets, everything. Honestly, man, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to be comfortable moving forward if you can't say your shahada. I mean, you can take me down. You know, I, I, I mean, I'm Muslim and I would, why would I say my shahada right here? You know, I don't need to. It's not. He's not a Muslim. Not a real Muslim. What's up with you guys pretending to be Muslims, man? What's so what's so cool about being a Muslim that you guys want to pretend to be a Muslim and come on my stage? What's what's up with it, man? I should have ended it along. I should have ended it with uh, with, with oh boy, man, with Salam. I should have ended it there. I should have ended it there. Hello. <laughs> Didn't give him a poll or nothing. You're right, guys. No. Nah. Hello, hello. How you doing? <clears throat> good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what are we talking about? We're talking about how Christianity is the truth. Oh, but you got exposed. That you like little girls. Huh? You got exposed that you like little girls. Okay. Is there? Is there? Yeah. Uh, I, I I hear you. Is is there something wrong with liking little girls? What? Yes, you read. And you call our prophet a uh, pedo. Yeah, is, is there something wrong with liking little girls? So you like little girls, you want to fuck them? No, no, not me. That, that, that's disgusting. That's a pervert. No. Do you, do you, I, th I think you got me, you got me confused no. with your prophet. No. Is there something wrong with that? No, don't, don't mute him, guys. Don't mute him. Don't mute him. He, I, I he has me confused with his prophet. But if he's conf if he's accusing me of doing that kind of thing, like it's a problem, then I guess he has a problem with Muhammad. Then, right? Let me let me hear you. Go ahead and and throw Muhammad under the bus. Is there is there something wrong with liking little girls? Tell me. I I hope you say yes. But let's hear it. Is my mic working now? Yeah, your mic is working now. Is there something wrong with liking little girls? Yes or no? Bro, back days is different now, bro. Back days is different now? Did you... Yeah, obviously it's different. You know? So liking little girls back then is okay? Yeah, it's better than now. <laughs> this is Islam. Thanks for coming. That's all I needed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all I needed. <laughs> man oh man wowzers back then it was okay for uh, liking little girls 
according to Islam. That's that's Islam. Better than now, man. Police be upon y'all. What up, bro? Teresa. Uh, oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah. Hi. 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 What's up, man? What you uh, what you guys doing? Yeah, he's cool. He does uh TikTok videos. Oh. Are you are you uh, are you at school? Are you at yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? You, you have a loud, you have a loud background, honestly, man. Can you hear me, Logic? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, man. Come on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta kill the app. You gotta analyze the app. Hold on, let me just drop you. You got, you have to uh, restart your app. It's a glitch. You have to restart your app in order for you to hear me. It's 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 weird. TikTok has that little glitch. Let's see. Let me get Mr. Legend. Okay, I can hear now. Very good. So what's up, man? We're talking about how Christianity is true, bro. I feel like I still can't hear. You still can't hear me? You have to come. Hold on. You have to completely restart your app, like completely. But it's okay. I only got a few minutes anyway. We're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. Let's see here. You guys got about five minutes to tell me why Christianity isn't true. I'm not going to lie. This was a fun live stream. I, I did have a good time. I did have a good time. Did you guys enjoy yourselves today? <laughs> I had a good time. When am I coming to D.C.? I was just in D.C. I'm glad you, I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, God Logic, you have a large audience. So yeah, glory to God, man. Glory to God. We got over a thousand people watching on YouTube. We got, you know, we had at one point we had like eight hundred some people, almost nine hundred watching here on TikTok tonight. So yeah, I mean, glory to God. It's it's uh, it's uh, it's growing. But I, I think this is it, guys. I think we've we reached it. I'm about to be at my three hour mark, which is my limit. So. I'm pretty good. I, I'm going to be in the Bay Area this weekend. I'm coming to the Bay this weekend. I'll be in Oakland on the 21st, going to Berkeley on the 20th. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not the 21st. The 16th. <laughs> the 21st. On the 16th, I'll be in the Bay. I'll be going to, I'll be in Berkeley. So if y'all want to come hang out and come do some, do some dawah, some Christian dawah. Come on and pop up, all my bear, all my Bay Area folks, all my folks in the Bay. Come on through. On the sixteenth this weekend, I'll be in Berkeley. So, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, we, we, we. I'm, I'm done for tonight, guys. I'm done for tonight. I'm done for tonight. About to probably go watch Love Is Blind or something. <laughs> but yeah you guys take care thank you guys for coming thank you guys for showing up as always supporting i appreciate you guys um <clears throat> man uh, make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys hit the like button uh for those of you guys who who 
uh, make videos and you post videos in other languages like Portuguese or anything, you know, you guys have my full permission to go on ahead and translate my videos. You have my full permission. The content is yours. Okay. Um, I don't, you know, I don't care if you even turn your, you're like, if you guys do your thing, I don't care. Do you do your thing? What, what, what do you want life? Because apparently you don't never know where you at, man. Look, y'all, we're going to be at Berkeley University, okay? We're going to drop the Addy a little later, but we're going to be at Berkeley University. You're always seeing people to Oakland, man. Come on. Is, that, that's not Oakland? No. <laughs> you not Oakland. You see, as soon as you say Oakland, everybody like, be careful. We is not going to be in Oakland, bro. Berkeley University. Oh, All right. that's what I said. <laughs> Berkeley and Berkeley University is, is different, man. <laughs> Berkeley and Berkeley University is different? Yeah. So Berkeley University is not in Berkeley? Berkeley University is in Berkeley. You see Berkeley. Exactly what I said. But cooked. there is a Berkeley that's close to Oakland. Man, you just got cooked, man. You just got cooked. Just don't send people to Oakland, man, period. <laughs> I mean, why not? They need to toughen up anyway. <laughs> 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 hey, you remember all the text messages we was getting about our car, bro? Don't send them to Oakland. Everybody come to Oakland, man. Don't get your, send them nowhere near get your, get your street cred up in Oakland, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. Yeah, we, we, so y'all, we're going to be at uh, Berkeley University. Uh, we'll figure out the times and stuff, and we'll go ahead and I'll have him send that out to you guys. Um, but yeah, if you guys got debaters, we know there's a masjid out there. Um, also atheists, uh, uh, Christian, non-Christian debaters. Um, if you guys know anybody, I know UC Berkeley is a really, really big campus. I know they got debaters there. So if uh, you guys have any debaters, go ahead and send them uh, to God Logic's TikTok. Let them know he, uh, hey, look, you know, this guy is going to be here at this specific time. We'll make sure we get the times out and then we'll see you guys somewhere on campus. And uh, whoever's ready to debate, we'll have the cameras out and uh, we'll, we'll just get the conversation started. But yeah, Berkeley, UC Berkeley, y'all, not Oakland. <laughs> but y'all do your thing, Logic. For sure. Yeah, 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 get out of here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and answer this question and then we can wrap up. In your opinion, I hope you're still here, uh, our, our Petty. In your opinion, did, did Muhammad intentionally bring Islam? deceiving millions for personal gain or was he convinced of his own lies deceived by satan i think that it was in uh it, i think it was a mixture of both i think that muhammad um based on the sources i do believe that he had an experience he definitely had an experience um and because of that experience and multiple experiences um, he believed that he was a messenger of God because he was told he was a messenger of God. Um, and within that, within that, I think that he was probably hearing things. I think that he probably was, you know, visited by a demon and stuff like that. Also, the, the, you know, the good things that come with that. He also, I believe, put his own things into that as well. You know, the women that he gets, the money that he gets, uh, the power that he gets, stuff like that, the influence that he gets, you know, a lot of that you you see a lot of Muhammad's desires in the Quran and in, you know the hadith and stuff like that, which is why Aisha says, Wow, it seems like your Lord hastens to meet your desires. That's what Aisha says in the hadith, you know, because Muhammad was, you know, he was putting his own things in there. So yeah, I think it's a mixture of both. To answer your question all right guys that's it that's all um i appreciate you guys each and every one of you make sure you hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you go and subscribe if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button turn the notifications on and you will know and get notified when logic goes live all right so keep me in your prayers and remember pray for salam that we was talking to Pray for Salam that he comes out of that the darkness of Islam and gets to know Christ. Okay? You guys be blessed. I love each and every one of you guys. I'll see you guys again pretty soon. Salam, I'm going to see.